Hey guys, welcome once again to One Coin Only. And before we get started, we just want to remind you about our lovely sponsor, Spacey's Fresh Graphics. Make sure you check her out. Doesn't matter if you want a thumbnail or a t shirt design, Stacey will look after you, especially if you mention One Coin Only. If you mention One Coin Only, mates rates, my friend, mates rates, as we say in Australia. Stacey's got you. Guys, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? I am your host, Captain One Coin. Uh, I'm not really Captain One Coin. I'm just regular old One Coin. I know why I use the word Captain. I haven't really had an authority title in my name, like, my whole entire life. So I thought I'd just use Captain and see if it stuck. And, uh, yeah, I don't really like it. I don't think I'm going to be calling myself Captain One Coin ever again. So we'll just leave it at that. How you guys doing? I hope you're great. And uh, we're going to be doing ourselves a, a little Power Rangers marathon today. Uh, I've got a couple Power Rangers games here. I've got four actually. Two you've seen, two you haven't seen. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy them. I'm ready for a fun time. Please don't forget to like and share the video. Bring all the sumbitious in here. Because we're going to be on for the next three to four hours. And uh, before we get started, I'm going to say hello to all the awesome people in the room. How are you going there, Robert? Good to see you. We've got Amanda. And uh, we've got Pi in the house. We've got Jason. We've got D-Wayne. We've got Felix. We've got Barry there. And uh, we got Dustin, Jeremiah. Don't forget, only one person per name in the room. Otherwise, you have to fight to the death. And uh, we got Jado. We got Payron. We got Steve. And uh, we got Tommy there. And we got the other. No, it's the same Steve. My bad. We got Sean and uh, Pedro, Austin, Lino. Guys, thank you so much for coming. Appreciate all you guys. Uh, we're not going to waste too much time. We're also over on YouTube. And uh, we got Virginia Fisherman. We got Church of Bacon and Captain BS. Good to see you guys. Alright, if you want to know what we are playing today, it is in the description. We're going to start off with, with a nice safety game. Uh, we're going to play the very popular Power Rangers game on Super Nintendo to warm up. And then we're going to be playing uh, the Sentai game uh, on NES. So if you want to check that out, uh, you can see what we're playing in the description anyway. We're also going to be playing the Game Gear version of Power, Power Rangers today. And uh, we may even do Power Rangers the movie uh, for, for Sega Genesis as well. We'll see how we go. So, I think we're all organized now. Let's see how we go here. Thank you so much for coming in. It's morphin' time. It is. Time to kick some ass. How you going, Joshy, over on YouTube? JK Software in the house. Which Power Ranger was my favorite? Ah, uh, that is actually a good... I mean, you know, I always like the leader. So, I mean, I, I like Jason, but they're all pretty cool. We might start with Zack Attack today. I like Zack just because I can call him Zack Attack. It rhymes and it's got a good ring to it. So, you, you, can't, you can't do that with anyone else's name, you know what I mean? <laughs> Robert with the 50 stars. Robert, thank you so much. This one's going out to you. Robert with 50 stars much, already. Uh, Bless you, my friend. Double whammy thank you for the cheese. burger money. You getting this? Are you yes. getting this, Rick? You getting this? Thank you, sir. Good evening, Alan. Good to see you there, my man. I mean, I love this game. It did. I don't know why I love this game so much. I remember when I first played this game, I was like, eh, it's nothing special. But the more I play it, the more it grows on me. How you on there, Preston? Good to have you. So yeah, guys, we're going to be here the next four hours non-stop Power Rangers. If we still got a full room at the end, uh, we're going to do some bonus games. I've also got Power Rangers on the PS2 that I can play. I've also got the Super Nintendo version of uh, Power Rangers the movie that we can uh, do if people are still awake and want to see some more. So, I mean, we do have some backup games as well, depending. Oh, really? Oh, I've gotcha. <laughs> you need to figure this out. What's going on, Joshy? How you going, Daniel? Good to have you. Yes, you got to eat your veggies and do your chores. It's very important. How you going, Dustin? Dustin on the YouTube machine. You got free stars, get ready. How'd you get free stars, Reem? Some bish. I don't I don't ever get free stars. I don't know, I don't know who Facebook decides to give them to. I wish they gave them to everyone. <laughs> and you're a madder than shit, you didn't get to get them home in time to watch. Well, that's a bummer. I, I remember when I was growing up, the Power Rangers were always on at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, every weekday, I'd usually get home at 3.45, so I'd always get home just in time for it. Hey, you going, Ronnie? Good to see you. Damn it, I'm not, I'm not having such a, an amazing start here at the moment, am I? That's alright. That's why I'm kind of picking this game first, because I know how to play it. 
and uh, I can still warm up while I'm half asleep. I'm so I'm, I'm I'm so I'm so incredibly apologetic about my unprofessionalism, by the way, guys. I always seem really really sleepy in my streams lately. I'm trying to readjust to U.S. time. It's been pretty hard. How you going, just How you going, Shane? Good to see you. Shane's on both Facebook and YouTube. How you going there, Nick? And Payron says he hasn't gotten the free stars in a long time. How you going, Tommy? Warm me. Yeah, this is my warm-up game today. There we go. You're not going to mess with me now because uh, we're Zack Attack. There we go. We're, we're, we're morphed. We've got our big old axe here. Man, I don't care if it's Nintendo. They should have They should have added some gore to this. They should have, they should have turned this into more than Power Rangers. It should be like Monkey Magic or something. I don't know. I want to see blood. He's got an axe. Why don't we see any gore for? <laughs> Everyone's like, well, Rick, you're a psycho. There you go. We've got Bright Idea Gaming in the house. And uh, we got Reem with 100 stars. Reem, thank you so much, girl. This one's going out to you. It was my understanding that everyone had heard. Heard what? Brian, don't! Yeah, Church of Bacon said you couldn't beat Power Rangers back in the day. I totally agree with you, my man. I feel like they do things to, it's just in excess now, don't they? Oh, you, you think so, Wolven Films? How are you going, Joe? Thanks for coming in. Shit, bro. I'll, I'll, I'll take your word for it. I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> How you going, Deidre? Good to see you. It's, oh, that's right. Game of Thrones is on today. I keep forgetting it's Sunday already. I'm going to have to watch uh, Game of Thrones after the stream. Oh, I'm so freaking excited now. John says Power Rangers doesn't excite you. Mike Tyson or Super Mario does, but you're what? Well, that's very gracious of you, John. Gracias, amigo. And Chan says Zordon was a total racist. Man, I... I Everything must go over my head, my friend, because I can't remember any of this stuff from being a kid. Oh, again, I'll take your word for it. I, th I think I think you guys might be looking too much into it, right? Power Rangers was just a harmless kid show, wasn't it? <laughs> We've got Danelle in the house. Good to see you. Jason with 95 stars. Jason, thank you so much, my friend. Jason, this one's going out to you. You nerd. Yeah, bright idea. I'm not doing too bad, man. I've just been waiting for this energy drink once again to kick in, so I'm all ready to go today. Uh, guys, uh, please don't forget to like, share, and follow my friend Bright Idea Gaming here as well. He's an absolutely fantastic streamer. Funny as fudge, this guy. Oh, nice, Captain BS. Uh, are you just re-watching them, or have you never seen them before? How you doing, Clifford? We got Clifford on YouTube. And Robert with another 50 stars. There we go. Everyone's hijacking the stream already. There you go, Robert. You get a car. You get a car. You get a car. You get a car. <laughs> How you going there, Ryan? Good to see you. Yeah, I, you know, I, I watched the old series of, like, the Power Rangers growing up. Like, when the Power Rangers came out... Like, uh, I was already like 14 and 15, so it was one of those shows I loved, even though I wouldn't admit it to my other high school buddies, you know what I mean? But, uh, I never watched the newer Power Rangers show, by then I kind of, like, moved on. I know there was a whole pile of other ones. Jason with the 95 stars. Jason, thank you, dude. Draw. <laughs> Appreciate the support, man. 95 stars from Jason. Ah, oh, gotcha, Captain BS. Well, you're in for a treat, man, because they're all pretty solid, hey. And Clifford says, one of these days you're going to show me how this is done. Well, that's all right, man. I, I know I know you've always got something to say about my video gaming skills. I'm happy to learn from an expert. <laughs> How's it going? You're looking for a stream for me earlier? Oh, you're talking about bright ideas? I was going to be like, you're talking to me? Usually I come on before D-Wayne. Uh, as well. I think for the rest of the week, I'll come on before D-Wayne. I've just been doing a few late night streams instead this week, just experimenting with the time slots. Um, but no, I think for the rest of the week, I'll probably end up coming on, uh, at 5pm. So you'll get an afternoon stream again, guys. We'll see how we go. So, what else is going on today, anyway? Any other news for me? We're about a week out from Money in the Bank. That's all pretty exciting. We're also two weeks out from, uh, Double or Nothing. Yeah, big, big shout out to Commodore as well, guys. If you didn't see it earlier today, uh, Commodore did an amazing playthrough of Metal Gear Solid. One of our biggest videos on the channel in ages, actually. He absolutely killed it. So, uh, 
If you want to see a full playthrough of Metal Gear Solid, you can watch uh, the replay on our wall. And we got Lady Lover over on the, the YouTube machine. Good to see you, Mr. Lover Lover. That, that was the... Uh... <laughs> and then Payron thinks he can show me how to play some games as well. Yes! Because we all know everyone is always an expert from behind the computer screen, right? You gonna work this Sunday? No, oh, that's a bummer, bro. How many hours you gonna work, Clifford? Yeah, Combo did amazing. Combo's gonna try and come on for two days a week for us now, guys. But, uh, you know, Combo works some ridiculous hours. So, uh, we're just happy to have him when we can. Yeah, big shout out to all the mothers in the world once again. Hope your late, lovely ladies are having a wonderful day. Ah, gotcha, Clifford. I heard that movie's actually not so bad. I heard it surprised a few people. Pi said you did the Mother's Day thing with the wife and kids, just relaxing. Now, that's a spirit. We got Jeffrey in the house. Good to see you. As you can hear, guys, I'm still trying to get my voice back because I yell too much. Oh, th th there's another strategy to playing this game first. I'm hoping if I rage less at the beginning, my voice will last longer. So there is a method to my madness. <laughs> Alright, well, we started with Zack. I guess we'll use Bimmy. We're going to use Bimmy this time. How you going, Father Axe Keeper? Got Father Axe Keeper on YouTube. Heather, how you going? Welcome back, Heather. Heather, that's like a million stars you've sent me in two days. Thank you very much, lovely. This one's going out to you. Heather with 200. Thank you so much, girl. I really appreciate you. We also got JJ in the house. How you been going, Jimmy Johnson? How's that NASCAR treating you, all right? You gonna win this season, bro? I hear you've got a pretty good vehicle in your team. <laughs> Sorry. It's like, he's probably all like, I haven't heard that one before. Actually, how many people in here actually watch NASCAR? How many, how many, here, how many people here like left turns? Don't forget to bring a towel. You got it, Alex, with the 50 stars. You got it, my friend. That's it. That's a melody to Funky Town. Don't forget to bring a towel. There he is. Be sure to bring a towel so you don't get all wet. Yes, this game does have Megazord fights right at the end, Steve, in this one. Well, you'll be seeing some Megazord fights today, my friend, so don't you worry. They're all coming. Guys, thank you so much for your generosity already. You're absolutely spoiling us with stars today. Thank you, guys. Now, did you all see the preview of the new show uh, on my Facebook wall that we'll be debuting in a month? We're going to be doing a new show, guys, on one coin only called Mystery Flight. And uh, I'm going to be packing my bags, my suitcase. I'm going to be ready to jump on a plane. And then I'm going to be doing a live stream, and you guys are going to literally dictate where I fly off to. And uh, you could literally send me anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world. It's going to be one of the most ambitious shows uh, that I've ever, ever done. And uh, that's going to be starting in about a month, guys. So be on the lookout for that. We're going to be doing our new Mystery Flight show. Ball RA, all that kind of stuff. And uh, this is a Super Nintendo one, Lee. We're going to be doing the Genesis one afterwards. I haven't seen Endgame yet, Chuck, but I know a lot of people did. Jason with 50 stars. Rob with 50 stars. Thank you very much. Everything is going absolutely crazy. I can hardly keep up. I don't know what to do with myself. This one's going out to you guys. Uh, if you see little creatures, thank you, my homies. Help, help take care of them, cause they're. they're if you see creatures. any little creatures, take care of them. Thank you very much for the love, guys. How you going there, Anthony? I'm pretty good, thank you, man. You having a good day? And uh, that's it. Kind of does actually. That's. Uh, I knew I recognised it. Father Axe Keeper says this theme. Kind of sounds like uh, Ken's theme from Street Fighter 2. It it really does sound. It kind of sounds like Power Rangers and, and Ken's theme, like had a love child, and then you got both together. It certainly does, doesn't it? Jado says he's seen Endgame. Mystery VR. I could go broke. Yes, Steve. Um, I mean, I, I've got a pretty good structure. I've got a pretty fair structure to operate it. Um, again, I'm making the show to entertain you guys, not to make any money. I, contrary to popular belief, like, as long as I can put food on my plate, money is not everything. I just want to do cutting-edge stuff that entertains people and makes them smile and makes them happy. So if, if I do this new Mystery Flight show and it puts me out of pocket a little bit, so be it. I want to do something that no one else is doing. I'm a crazed madman. I can't help myself. <laughs> and 
And we got Justin back over on YouTube. Danny boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just I just need to get this health item in a sec. We'll be fine. You went to the Ponkins? I don't even know what the Ponkins is. Forgive me. You saw Pon... I don't know what that is. Oh, there we go. We're about to morph. We're about to get our full health back, luckily, because I was in a bit of a spot of trouble there. Yeah, exactly. You know, I just want to do the things that make make me and other people happy and that are fun, you know what I mean? Money's not everything. There's so many rich people out in the world that are miserable. You see these celebrities every day, you know? Money is not everything. Thank you, Carlton. Thank you so much, Carlton, with 100 stars. I'll always love you, Carlton. You know what's really, really funny? Alex just said I could be the first person to stream from Antarctica. Alex, I'd be lying if I said that didn't cross my mind. But the problem with that is um, I don't think I'd be able to get internet reception. Otherwise, I would so freaking totally do it. <laughs> hey, on Dave. It's good to see you. We've got Ryan's Retro Gaming Castle in the house. All right, Austin says he saw Spider-Man into the Spideyverse. And what did you think of it, my friend? Now, uh, just one more reminder, guys. This is a Power Rangers marathon. We ain't just doing the Super Nintendo game like always. We're playing four different uh, Power Rangers games today, at least. Uh, if you want to see the lineup, guys, they're in the description. You'll get a good idea of what we're doing today. I'm going to be trying the Super Sentai game next, actually. So that's going to be a bit nerve-wracking. Never done Super Sentai before, apart from a little practice game. I think we'll be fine. How you going, Reem? Good to see you, sweetheart. I didn't forget you. I never... What are you, what are you talking about, Reem? I ain't forgot you, sweetheart. Did you send some stars, did you? Well, Reem, here you go. So there you go, Reemy. Just in case. <laughs> sociopath. There we go. You're not a sociopath. I just like that screen. What do you guys What do you guys think of uh, Bray Wyatt's Fly Fly uh, Funhouse, by the way, guys? Father Axe Keeper says there's actually hotels in Antarctica. Is there really? You know, you know, you know what the thing with Antarctica is? It's probably just the amount of money it actually costs to get there. One, one of my friends actually went to Antarctica uh, a couple years ago. I don't know how much it cost him though. I, I could imagine a pretty fortune. I, I guess the thing for me is at least I don't live too far away from it. So JJ said he watched a 2017 Power Rangers movie this morning. Yeah, th th that'd be an issue, wouldn't it, Dustin? I'd have to put, like, a, a thermal case on it or something. How you going, Sam, my boy? How you going? Good to have you. Oh, Reem wanted Van Damme. That's okay, Reem. I'll do some Van Damme for you shortly. Forgive me, girl. You know, you know, I'm, you know I'm good for it. You guys... Yeah, chat, chat is thank you, Reem. Reem. Reem totally understands. Reem knows how much I love her, and she knows how crazy the chat goes. Believe it or not, guys, as smart as I am and as clued on as I am, it's very, very hard to follow 300 comments in 10 minutes. But I'm doing my best, guys. I'm doing my absolute best. No one wants to hear my excuses. They just want to see the results, right? Do you think it was a poor decision? I don't think so, uh, Captain BS, because... Uh, what I really like about the Firefly Funhouse is they turned him into this goofy guy and uh, they're slowly making him more darker and darker every single week and it's going to get really, really disturbing and interesting, I think, Captain BS. I'm, I'm, I'm personally really digging Firefly Funhouse. I think it's great. I like, that, I like that they're trying something new, you know what I mean? We're always complaining we want to see something new, so I'm like giving it a chance, you know? I always try to be optimistic when it comes to rest. Damn it! Fuck off! Okay, just gonna get back over here. I, I'm trying to find a way up here. I guess we can't hit that thing. You glad to see a live stream that's not... Hey, Mario Maker's freaking awesome, Sean. But, you know, we mix things up, sure. We, we play a little bit of everything, but... Don't, don't, don't be knocking Mario Maker. I think Mario Maker's freaking sweet, bruh. But yeah, it's good to have a variety too. I get it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, are we gonna go? Oh, wow, I can't do it! Stop, why Why won't you jump up, you dumbass? There we go, we got it. 
got to get used to the mechanic on this one again. We've also, also got uh, almost 20 awesome sumbishes on YouTube now, guys. Thank you for hanging around. Well, all my friends on YouTube usually like to watch in the background. Kind of like a naughty frog. You're watching the stream on a beach in Maui and drinking a margarita. Well, damn, look at you, you jet setter. And May, May says you bought Mario Maker and you never never used it. I'm gonna be. I, I never. I, I, I'm kind of the same. I've got Mario Maker on the on the Wii U and I've never really used that either. Um, I am gonna be playing Mario Maker on the Switch when it comes out. Uh, not every day, but maybe once a week. I think I think it'll be fun once a week for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that is a problem. There's no continuity, is there? Justin says, you know, WWE never see out a gimmick. And that's totally their downfall. You know, Vince... I'm surprised, like... Vince McMahon is a billionaire. And he's always trying to go for the quick fix. He's not actually trying to work on long-term plans. It seems like Triple H is more of a visionary these days. Shay, we got Casual Coin. Thank you, man. You got it. Casual Coin wants a golden throat charmer. You got it, my man. Thank you for the 100 stars. Bless you, my friend. In about 30 seconds, I'm going to be tasting this. Foster's, the golden throat charmer. Try it next time you're having a bit. Anthony, you're going to have to tell me about that place. I don't know what it is, my man. Thank you again, Casual Coin. Random Venom says this is weird. What's what's so weird about Power Rangers, my friend? I don't get it. What am I, what am I missing? Which... Which... Which memo did I miss that said the Power Rangers was weird? <laughs> I'm weird. I know I personally am weird. But uh, I, I, I think you're pretty safe when it comes to the game. Happy Mum's Day. We got one over on uh, YouTube. Come on, we're stars, my friends. Welcome back, Ryan. We got Ryan back in Facebook. Don't worry, Reem. I've still got Van Dancing coming still. My, sw my sweet pea. My moose. <laughs> Oh my gosh, here we go. What's this? This is only level 2, isn't it? This boss can actually be a real uh, handful. The patterns on these bosses uh, in these games aren't too difficult. But they are kind of hit point sponges. They do take forever to kill. Hey, welcome Jamal. Back in Facebook jail, so you're on YouTube. That's a spirit, dude. We're just happy to have you. Reza with the 50 stars. Reza, thank you very much. This one's going out to you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rez. Appreciate you for the 50 stars today. Oh my gosh. So what else, guys? What, what did you all get up to with your mums on Mother's Day, by the way? Did you take her out for breakfast? Did you make a breakfast in bed? Did you bring over the grandchildren? What did you guys all get up to for your mums today? Love, love to know what the hats is. I hope you made her feel special. Your favourite? Oh, thank you, Reem. I'm probably the only Aussie you know as well, but I appreciate the thought. Reem with another 100 stars. This one's going out to you. Come here! Bazinga. Bazinga. Uh, Jado says Power Rangers is a rip-off of Voltron. I used to think so too. I'm not 100% sure because Japan, before the Power Rangers came out, uh, didn't Japan have the show Super Sentai for like 16, 17... Uh, years. I'm pretty sure that's where Power Rangers was based off. It was actually off Super Sentai. But I think so. But I don't know a whole lot about it. So someone's going to have to educate me. Speaking of which, the next game we're going to be playing is a, a Super Sentai game uh, for NES. Well, that's nice. Put on you, Clifford. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame. Life is pretty short, my friend, isn't it? Oh, I just got your comment then, Ryan. I know, brother. I know you're hanging in there, sir. Yeah, Japan had Super Sentai that whole time. I don't know what's older, Super Sentai or, or Voltron. But I remember I was watching Voltron back in 1983. So I know, uh, I know they, they were both around a long time before the Power Rangers anyway. But don't forget there was two Voltrons, you know, there was that Voltron that had the vehicles and then there was that Voltron that was connected by the lions, so, uh... uh that whole thing confused me, I didn't know that, I didn't know how that all worked. So, uh, Clifford said Super Sentai has been around since 1975. 
Yeah, apparently Power Rangers was based off Super Sentai. If you actually look at the games, the Super Sentai, they're pretty much exactly the same as the Power Rangers. Anyway, moving on here. I'm just going to use my little power up for a sec, guys. I did, Anthony. It's really sad, my man. App apparently, uh... Apparently he had a heart attack or something after a, a kick to the head by Juby2 Carrera or whatever. So I, I don't know the full story yet. I'm still waiting for some of the details. Guys, uh, by the way, if you're here for the first time, welcome again to One Coin Only. And uh, a big thank you for all your comments, guys. If I miss any of your comments, please never take it personally. You can uh, always copy and paste. I'll get back to you eventually. It just gets pretty crazy sometimes. Good to see you, Pat. Thank you very much for coming in, my man. Yeah, 1975, apparently, uh, JJ. By the way, guys, just putting a quick ad up, just in case you want to subscribe to us here at OneCoin only. You can click on the green shield for more details. And Tommy says Super Sentai is older than Voltron. Ah, oh, gotcha, Clifford. There you go. And both versions are on an app called Tubi. And, uh, how you going, Kevin? Oh, I see. Oh, right, we'll use the Pink Ranger this time. And Ryan says, hey, could Capcom just release the whole fighting games ca catalog on the consoles? Um, you know, obviously, Capcom brought out the, the beat-em-up arcade collection last year. I think the reason that they don't release the whole catalog is just because the licensing's too expensive. Like, it would cost Capcom a lot of money these days, I think, uh, to get Alien uh, vs. Predator re-released. So I, I would guess that's what the biggest problem is. The actor who played Zack only has nine fingers. Man, I tell you what, if he knows how to kick ass, nine fingers is all you need, my friend. What, is he a Yakuza or something? Did he have to cut off his pinky? <laughs> hey, go Ronald, we got Ronald on Facebook. That's right, he was in Nacho Libra. I remember that. Yes. And we got Timmy. Yeah, we're playing Power Rangers right now. We've got a Power Rangers marathon today, my friend. We're going to be doing four games. Alex wants me to sleep the leg. You got it. Alex with 50 stars. Thank you, Alex. Sweep the leg. Appreciate you. I have a problem with that. No sensei. No mercy. Ah, I got your Wolven films. And uh, you've seen how over... I forgot about that. But you've also seen how overpriced that arcade stick thing is, too. It's a complete rip-off of the amount of games you get with it. It's a good collector's piece, but it's an absolute rip-off. I think, I think Capcom are running straight to the bank on that one. Malcolm says Voltron would destroy the Rangers. Well, I think if they weren't morphed, that's definitely the case. Ah, I see. Gotcha, JJ. There you go, JJ, with the fun facts over on Facebook. So what else is happening, guys? I'm running out of breath here. I need someone else to talk for a little second. I see, I'm worried I'm going to have to take a day off, guys, because I can hardly use my voice right now. I don't know if you guys can notice or not. But I, I think by tomorrow, I'm probably going to start sounding like Fran Drescher. And no one wants the nanny hosting their stream, for the love of God. You don't need the nanny hosting your stream. Yeah, I mean, how many games are coming out total? Not even a dozen, right? Like, it's only a few. Jamal, Jamal wants to know who's going to win money in the bank. Uh, I'm, I'm not telling you guys who I, who I want to win money in the bank. I'm telling you guys who I think is going to win money in the bank. And unfortunately, I think Baron Corbin is going to win money in the bank. And I have a funny feeling that Mandy Rose... Uh, might win the ladies. Because, uh, you know, Vince McMahon has a really, really big boner for Mandy Rose. So, uh, yeah. Uh, not, a, not a coincidence, Steve. I've been feeling like doing the Power Rangers for a long time. Uh, I'm not trying to cash it. Because, you know, I wasn't a big follower of the Power Rangers. Like, I, li I liked the, the original series. But I never watched all the other series after the first ones, you know. I, I don't really keep, keep in touch very well with tabloid news and stuff. So I don't want anyone to think I'm trying to cash in on some poor uh, dude's death or anything. I just thought, why not do a Power Rangers marathon today? <laughs> hey, you going, Cedric? Good to see you. 
Yeah, and D-Wayne says, Baron Corbin's rise to even higher mess status continues. Yeah, accurate. And Jerry says he's going to send me some Sunbish Army stickers, you may. Well, thank you, Jerry. I've got the P.O. box uh, on the front of our page if you need it, my man. And I just got asked what my plan is for tomorrow. Well, don't forget, tomorrow I'm going to be doing the weekly Beat It or Eat It show, guys. And uh, if you haven't seen Beat It or Eat It, we do Beat It or Eat It every Monday evening. Uh, I have to do a video game challenge within the time limit. If I fail, I have to eat a horrible food item. And uh, you guys can sabotage me by slowing me down with star screens. Uh, tomorrow's food item. If I don't beat Adventure Island within two hours, guys, I have to eat a dog food sandwich. So uh, tomorrow's going to really, really, really hurt me. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. So, favorite original ranger, Green Ranger included. Yeah, Green Ranger's freaking awesome. He was always that bad boy rebel. You think I need to get Jason David Frank to do a shout-out? I wonder if he's even available. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> hey, how you going, William? It's good to have you. How you doing today, my man? You having a good day? Thank you for hanging out. It's going to be rough on the stomach. I'll just get one of these premium dog food brands. Hopefully I'll be able to at least stomach it. But I have to eat the whole sandwich. So I'll make sure I've at least got some cheese and some lettuce and some chili in it. <laughs> Here's a beater or eat it idea. Three habanero peppers. Uh, JJ, I've actually got some Carolina Reaper products uh, coming from the US as we speak. So I've got some Carolina Reaper gummies on the way. I've got some Carolina Reaper corn chips. And I've got some Carolina Reaper beef jerky coming, guys. So you can decide what I eat uh, next week. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. He would be pretty expensive. He, he, you know, we're talking like maybe at least three, four hundred bucks, I think, for a shout-out. What else is going on, guys? I actually, I don't even know what that is, to be honest, mate. Are we going the right way? Oh, no, we have to hit this scene. Sorry, guys. I lost concentration there for a second. Man, I'm trying to concentrate on so many things right now. I don't even know what my freaking name is. <laughs> you know, Dustin thinks Drew McIntyre uh, is going to win. As I said, I don't want Corbin to win. I just think that that's who I think is going to win. There's a difference. I would be totally happy uh, with Drew McIntyre winning. I think they need to give Drew McIntyre the belt. I think it's time. I think I think if they want to build up young stars, they really need to push the the, the, the trigger on uh, Drew McIntyre. They 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 missed the boat on Braun Strowman. Don't fuck up Drew Mac McIntyre as well. He's a monster. They need to put the belt on him. They need to do it now. What do you guys think? <laughs> and uh, oh, I got you, Kevin. That's pretty cool, man. It sounds like you still keep up with everything, hey? Elboy says, give, give the Pink Ranger to do a shout-out. I'll give you stars. Yeah. So I'll pay a million dollars for a shout-out from the Pink Ranger, and I'll get 50 stars. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I don't think you guys realize how expensive it is to get celebrities. Some people are like, you should get this person. You should get that person. I'll be like, yeah, bitch, you're going to pay the $50. Are you going to pay the $100. Are you going to pay the $500. I'm only messing, guys. But no, the point—the point being—is it is pretty, it is pretty expensive to get shout-outs. It ain't as cheap as what you guys think. Depending on who it is, of course. I've gotten—I've been lucky sometimes, but some of them are pretty expensive. Oh, is it really, Willie? Uh, um, if you want to give me the link, Joe, if you don't mind, that'd be awesome. I'd love to look into it. Thank you, brother. If you have the link, that'd be uh, absolutely amazing. If you can send it to my Facebook. And, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, there you go. Nate, Nate agrees on McIntyre. Is Miz in the Money in the Bank match? No, he's not, unfortunately, Payron. He's wasting another match with uh, Shane McMahon. How you going, Dexter? Welcome back. We've got Honkus in the house. Good to see you. And Kevin says he's a Power Ranger fan for life. Yeah, for sure. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. I don't want to just get wrestlers, you know. I want to get, um... Gets like uh, TV stars, uh, you know, voice out. You know, I want to get everyone. I want to mix it up. Reem with 50 stars. Reem, thank you so much, sweet pea. We hope we've seen it all. <laughs> We're going to dance a little while. He's rumbling. He's stumbling. He's getting down. 
I really, really appreciate Jareem. Thank you so much for the support today. And Jamal said, when when did the Miz become so over? I think, um... I think, uh, they're, they're really involving Miz more in the storylines now, because the WWE has a lot of respect for the Miz now, after all his years in the company and developing his character. Kind of similar to Kofi, you know what I mean? I think the fans, like, uh respect dedicated workers and I think uh, Miz is incredibly underrated so I, I think I think the WWE universe uh, finally appreciate him as a superstar and uh, he's being rewarded for it William says you'll send me a hot pepper if I eat it live we'll have a talk about this later <laughs> Mizu wants me to die on purpose how you going Mizu always asking me to die on purpose how you going my brother I haven't seen you in a little bit thanks for coming in Hellboy says I should get Amy Jo Johnson for a shout-out. She probably wouldn't cost too much, because I know she acts a little bit, but not a whole lot these days. So maybe she wouldn't cost a fortune. Keep Kofi in the top. No, to be honest, I think Kofi Kingston is just a transitional champion. And uh, to be honest, guys, I'm, I'm okay with that. Like, uh, I don't think Kofi Kingston is a main event superstar. I think he's best suited entertaining us in the mid-card, to be honest. That's probably not going to be a popular opinion amongst you guys, but I don't really want to see Kofi Kingston with, with the belt long term. I don't think he's the right guy for the job. He could win me over, though. Using the bomb. I am Michael. I'm saving it for when I'm... I always save it for the end. Michael's being bossy. Michael's telling me to use the bomb. Michael, I will use that damn bomb when I'm good and ready. Thank you very much, sir. Jamal thinks that Kofi Kingston's going to lose the belt to Goldberg. It could happen, you know. It'd kind of suck if Goldberg just came straight back into the title picture. But it would make sense because Goldberg lost to Brock Lesnar and never had a rematch. So technically it makes sense. But it's been like two years already. You get TJ Perkins. I like TJ Perkins, man. TJ Perkins is a man. Another missed opportunity by WWE. And Bret Hart is the best there is, the best there was and ever will be. Bret Hart was the freaking man too. Yeah, she's keeping busy. I saw I saw I saw a documentary about her about six months ago or something. There was a documentary on YouTube called Whatever Happened to Amy Jo Johnson. And uh, apparently she still keeps pretty busy. <laughs> Hey, go on, Vladimir. It's good to see you today. And Michael says he remembers this game. Did you used to play this back in your youth? And Chris says he loved TJ Perkins. Obviously, we're a little bit biased because he had the most epic intro uh, in uh, WWE. Did you guys ever see TJ Perkins' intro? That 8-bit intro it was freaking awesome. Cedric thinks Kofi could... Oh, come on. That's not believable. You remember all the issues that Jericho and Goldberg had... Uh, in, back in the WCW days. Goldberg didn't want to waste a program on Jericho uh, because Jericho was like half his size. Well, Kofi Kingston's even smaller than Jericho, you know what I mean? So, like, I, I don't think in a million years Goldberg would ever put Kofi Kingston over. It's not going to happen. I think I think he's too selfish. <laughs> oh, you, you want to challenge me to Mega Man X? I suck at Mega Man X. That's not going to be any fun to me, Alex. You can do it. Oh, there you go. So there's more people signing with AEW. I'm going to have to see the latest lineup again soon. I wonder what's going to happen with Sasha Banks. Apparently, she's just going to be sitting her contract out at home. That'd be. I mean, I'm not a, the world's biggest fan of Sasha Banks. But uh, if she's not on TV for like three years, that'd be a, a pretty blow to, big, big blow to the fans. You know what I mean? She's kind of hurting her fans as well. She's got to look after her, but she's hurting the fans. And, uh, people walking out during Goldberg's Hall of Fame speech. I didn't even realize. Reem with another 100 stars. Reem, thank you, girl. This one's going out to you. What da? Appreciate ya. Hey, going, James? Good to see you. Steve said, could someone... Ch you want to choose me, do you? You want to choose me? We could There we go. Got a chicken leg, mate. We got some KFC. Gonna have the chicken leg. It's gonna make us big and strong. I don't know what I'm going on about. Oh my goodness. Hanging in there. 
You challenged me to Super Bomberman. I suck at Super Bomberman. I ain't got time for Super Bomberman. So what else is happening, guys? Any other news you got for me today? And, uh, guys, already, we're not even an hour in, and we've all already got 57 likes. Uh, 57 shares, I should say, so thank you very much. Uh, guys, if you know anyone that wants to watch today, whether it's your mum, your dad, your sister, your brother, the fireman, the milkman, the cleansy pool man, anyone, uh, please consider sharing this video, guys. It'll help us out a lot. How about Blossom for a shout-out? That's Amy from Big Bang, right? <laughs> You liked her in Flashpoint? And uh, yeah, just one more time guys, if you want to see our lineup today, uh, it's in the description. After this game, we're going to be playing a little Super Sentai on NES, which is a platforming game. Then we'll do some Power Rangers the movie on Genesis, and then we will at least finish uh, with Power Rangers on Game Gear. Uh, yeah, so that'll be four games, and we've still got a big room, we might even do more, we'll see how we go. Cedric challenges me to Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll play Street Fighter 2 Turbo if I can use Ryu or Ken. They're my go-tos. Andrew says my mum's a side piece. Well, thank you very much, Andrew. <laughs> and like and share and follow my friend Bright Idea as well. Because he's got all the bright ideas, you see. Damn it! I need, I need a morphia before I die, otherwise I'm going to be really pissed. Damn it! Oh, come on! Don't kill me! Damn it, motherfucker, damn it! Alright, I have to do this again. Sorry, guys. Lucky I did a save there. Last thing I wanted to do was lose a life already. Oh, thank you, Pi. No worries, Pi. You have a great evening. Thanks for coming in all the time, my man. I appreciate ya. Ah, oh, Clifford, I'm so sorry to hear, my friend. Man, cancer is such an evil illness. I really hope we have a have a, a cure for that ish eventually, my friend. Or at least one that's released to the freaking public. We'll leave it at that, though. How you going, Corey? Happy yeah, Once again, a happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in the house. Whatever, what the hell goes on over on Facebook? we got currently 73 people watching on Facebook. And so the chat's going a million miles an hour. So even I don't know what's going on on Facebook. But don't forget, guys, we're on both Facebook and YouTube right now. You can watch on whatever platform you wish. And, uh, yeah. If you prefer YouTube, we've got YouTube as well. Link is in the description. Kind of, kind of just... Okay, can we morph yet? I would okay, finally. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry to hear, Steve. I know, bro. I know, brother. It certainly seems that way, unfortunately, Clifford. I mean, they have, they have to do it event. Damn it! Let me reload here. I've got to concentrate. I'm focusing on too many things. My head is about to go pop. All right, let's do this again. Your lawyer is watching the stream with you, Jerry. Are you in some legal trouble, my friend? Do you need some help? Do you need some help? Am I on Snapchat? No, we are on uh, YouTube. We are on Facebook. We are on Instagram. And uh, we are on Twitter. Um, maybe we will expand to Snapchat. I feel like that Instagram these days is a bit more effective than Snapchat. But we'll see how we go. Just don't want to spread myself too thin. B team, B team, go, go, go. Man, I loved it when the B team was getting a push and now they're forgotten about. Well, what do you guys think of Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins? How long do you think they're going to have the belts for? For about another five minutes? They're gonna, they're, gonna, they're gonna get beaten by the, the, the Viking Raiders, aren't they? Viking Experience, whatever the fuck they're called. The Viking Raiders 2.0. <laughs> How you going, Truman? It's good to have you. Thanks for coming in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Man, I tell you what, we've been having a big wrestling talk today. It's awesome. Speaking of wrestling, last night I watched um, uh, Dark Side of the Ring. Uh, I watched uh, The Last of the Von Erics. That was actually really, really interesting, but really, really sad. And uh, it's a shame their life went on a downward spiral, because I think Kerry and David in particular could have really, really been big superstars, but it wasn't meant to be. It was a real shame. But yeah, I recommend watching The Last of the Von Erics. That was a pretty good show. Very interesting, very sad. 
So what else is going on, guys? You having an awful day? I'm sorry to hear, Truman. Well, bro, you're with the Sunfish Army. Hopefully we can uh, cheer you up and put a smile on your doll, my friend. What's been going on anyway? You felt so bad for Kevin after watching it. It was hard to watch, wasn't it? I, I, I think I think he was incredibly brave uh, to, to air all the family's dirty laundry on video like that. He, he could tell he just wanted the story told, couldn't you? He, he seems to be living a pretty good life now, and you know, he's a very, he seems like a really optimistic guy, so... Just despite everything he's, he's been through, Kevin seems like he did, uh... Yeah, I think Kerry would have been great too, you know, da David was kind of like the technical wrestler, you know, he was kind of like... David Von Eric was kind of like the Bret Hart, and then, you know, uh, Kerry Von Eric was kind of like... You know, sort of like the Ultimate Warrior, sort of like Hulk Hogan looking guy, but uh... You know, after he had those leg troubles, it was all downhill, unfortunately. William says there should be RKO's out of nowhere. How can I be good at Power Rangers and not Mega Man X? I don't know. I mean, I'm good at the... I'm okay at some of the vanilla Mega Man games, Alex. Jeez, Alex, stop being such a judgmental guy. I can't be an expert at every game on the planet. Son of a bitch, there's like... There's like one million games on the planet, Alex. I can't be good at all of them. And trust me, Alex, I would like to be. Maybe you have maybe you have to be maybe maybe Alex needs to be like my Obi-Wan Kenobi and actually teach me how to play video games. What do you think? Let's let's have a vote on it. Should Alex train me how to play Mega Man games? Maybe, maybe, maybe he'll make me better. I haven't seen the Bruiser Brody episode yet. I'm probably gonna watch that tonight, Cedric, if I get a, a, a free few minutes. How you going, Stacy? Good to see you. You want you want me to make a Power Rangers shirt? I don't know if I'm allowed, actually. Keep in mind, I don't own the rights to Power Rangers, so I'll probably get in trouble. Don't mind me, by the way, guys. I'm always this crazy. Everyone's like, what the hell? This guy's too crazy and loud for me. We're leaving. Don't leave! Stay and watch the whole damn stream. No, no, I'm pissed me off. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just way too buzzed on any uh, caffeine again. Green with another 80 stars. Thank you, sweet pea. I really appreciate ya. This one's going out to you. Yeah, thank you, Cedric. I'll look into it eventually. I'm playing uh, eventually. I'm playing the first Kawami at the moment. I think they're bringing... There's a new dark side of the ring, it appears, like, every single week at the moment, isn't there? Yeah, Alex says he's got me. <laughs> Thank you so much again, Reem. Don't forget, guys, I know I play this Power Rangers game quite a lot, but I do love it heaps. I promise you, I've got some new Power Rangers games coming today, so you're going to be seeing a lot of stuff. So I hope you're all excited for the rest of the lineup. I have 20XX actually, Alex. I'm going to be streaming that again soon. 20XX is a game I can somewhat play. So, uh, yeah, that'll be cool. Now, I just got a notification, guys. What was that? We have a brand new supporter here. Some bishes of the One Coin Only Nation. And uh, Jeffrey has just renewed his subscription. Jeffrey is now a three-month supporter. Jeffrey, thank you so much uh, for your ongoing support and loyalty, my man. You, my friend... Uh, the real MVP. Here's a shout out for my friend Leo Rush. What's going on? This is the man of the hour, Leo Rush, and I just want to give a quick shout out to One Coin Only Gaming Brand. Thank you, everybody, for watching and continue to support. All right, take care from the man of the hour. There we go, my friend Leo Rush. And guys, don't forget if you want to get a subscription as well, four ninety nine a month. You sponsor us, and it comes with perks. What are those perks? Well, read the freaking green shield and find out for yourselves. There you go, see? That's not a way you should promote your business, is it? I was only kidding. No, but we would really appreciate it if you wanted to put the icing on the cake. You can go in the major prize draw. You can make requests for whatever Wednesday. There's all sorts of perks in it for you. We're going to be uh, increasing it as we go along. Uh, no, one's, no, no, no one's pissing me off. I'm having a good day. So far, so good. <laughs> You, you don't like Leo Rush, Sam? Lashley! Lashley! Oh, no worries, Reem. It's all good, girl. You gotta do what you gotta do, hey? Lashley! Lashley! 
You heard me rant. I'm always ranting about something. I mean, do you expect any less from me, guys? Do you really? I'm always going on about something. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Jeffrey, thank you, man. Jeffrey with 50 stars. Jeffrey, this one's going out to you. Appreciate ya. <laughs> I like Leo Rush, too. Thank you, my man, for the support. Uh, to everyone on YouTube wondering what's going on, I'm always doing those thank you screens when I get, like, a, a donation. So it's, uh... I don't want you to think I'm just being totally random. There's a method behind my madness. Will I do another truffle shuffle? I may do if you guys are lucky. If I'm gonna do a truffle shuffle, it's gonna have to be now, because I'm actually losing a lot of weight. I ain't gonna have anything to truffle shuffle with very soon. Jerry's gonna have some coconut chips. Oh, thank you, Nate. I'm glad you enjoyed, my friend. I'm not going to be streaming Yakuza every time, just when I get up to the good bits. Uh, but I'll do some more soon. Because it is a little bit of a slow build, Yakuza, sometimes. Uh, you're just energetic as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm, as I said, I'm buzzing off a ton of caffeine. There we go. I'm just trying to... This is hard. Oh, we'll get him. Is he almost dead? Did we get him yet? Come on, die! Damn it, damn it! Die, you little son of a bitch! Alright, we got him. And, uh, I think I'm, I'm getting notifications coming out of my arsehole. I don't know what's going on. Again, thank you so much for coming in, guys. If I miss a comment or a notification or a donation, please let me know. I promise I'll get back to you. My head's going pop. There's so many comments everywhere. I can't handle it. <laughs> How you going there, Amanda? And we got Andrew in the house, too. We got Jeffrey there. And there's sharks in the water where you're at? Yeah, man, sharks are a big problem over here in Australia as well. Those bull sharks will, like, maul you, but they'll keep you alive. They're pretty savage. Um, I'm going to use Zack Attack again, because why not? How you going, Alvin? Alvin with the 50 stars. Thank you very much, brother. I appreciate ya. What can we give to Alvin? There we go. We're going to go retro for Alvin today. Thank you for the 50. Andrew thinks I should stab... Dude, I mean, I I've got to draw a line somewhere, bro. Stabbing someone in the dick is just wrong, brother. You should be ashamed of yourself. I ain't stabbing no poor dude in the dick. <laughs> so we're almost an hour in. It's been a great start to the stream, guys. Thank you for always making these shows successful, guys. I appreciate ya. Yeah, right back at you, Andrew. I hope your mother had a wonderful day too, my friend. So what else is happening anyway, guys, now that I've calmed down for a whole of two seconds? I could talk about wrestling all day, but I feel like we should probably talk about something else as well. What are you guys thinking of Game of Thrones this season? Are you enjoying the show? How many, how many more episodes of Game of Thrones do we have left, by the way, including today's episode? Is it two or is it three? I'm not sure. Didn't they say this season was only like seven episodes long or something? And Amanda, I know you have a, I know you have biddies, Amanda. <laughs> Thank you for sharing with the group. Do I ever stream tactical RPGs? That is actually a really good question, Steve. Um, no. Uh, I'm open-minded to maybe trying a tactical RPG one day, but usually the pacing is very, very slow. Um, that I'm not sure how it'll go down on the viewership side of things. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know how entertaining it'd be for my, my crowd to watch, but, uh, you know, we could always try something once. Back in the day, I used to be a fan of Magic the Gathering. No, not Magic the Gathering, sorry. I, I like that game too, I mean, uh, Heroes of Might and Magic I used to really like. And I used to also like a game on GameCube and PlayStation 2 called Gladius. Now, Gladius was a game where you had to uh, lead slaves in the Colosseum in strategic battles, and that was a really cool game too, so I do do like some strategy-based games, I just don't know what they're going to be like for our audience to watch, though I do know some pages are very successful with them. Oh, thank you, Rio, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming in. It's good to have you here. Uh, no, Alex, I don't have a lot of time to watch a lot of TV these days. I'm very selective. Maybe one of these days. Andrew says Final Fantasy Tactics will be cool. 
Yeah, uh, there's, there's a really cool page on the internet. You may know him, Jared from Who's Who Gaming. And uh, he actually did Final Fantasy Tactics not too long ago. And uh, I think he drew a few people for that, actually. I think he did really well. I'm actually thinking of doing some Final Fantasy Dissidia for the first time, but I'm not sure yet, because I haven't played the game before. I'd have to practice first, but I'm thinking of maybe getting a season pass and doing some Dissidia late at night. Do any of you guys like that game or have tried it and can give me some feedback? How about a Starbucks cup, Gary? Big ass Starbucks cup? Gladius was an amazing game, incredibly underrated, wasn't it? I can't even begin to tell you how many hours I put into that back in the day. There you go, Joe, you speak my language. Yeah, Steve, we can look into it, bro. As I said, I mean, I'm happy to try something at least once, you know what I mean? So, Steve with 100 stars. Steve, this one's going out to you, my brother. Not seen uh, Detective Pikachu yet, but uh, I may do that in the next couple weeks. Andrew with... Yeah, they were great games too, Andrew. They were great games, my friend. Once again, I want to give a massive shout out to my YouTube friends who mainly watch in the background. I kind of look at, at YouTube as being the chilled lounge. I feel like everyone jumps on YouTube when they just sort of want to uh, grab their pina colada and their packet of potato chips, put their feet up on their recliner and just chill out and watch. See, we've got a room for everything here. We've got the chatty chatty McChat chat room on Facebook and we got the chill out room on YouTube. See, we're like a super club here at one point only. And just use some vicious weight till we're on Twitch as well. Then we're gonna really fuck shit up. <laughs> How you going, Jerry, over on YouTube? Thanks for coming in. Yeah, Andrew, what did you guys think of the new Final Fantasy VII Remake trailer? I think they hit the nail on the head. I think they got Cloud's character absolutely perfect. You know, just a damaged young man. Like, I think they got him really, really perfect. And uh, Eris is really, really likable and sweet. Like, oh my goodness. I think I think they got the character development down perfect from what I've seen so far. I'm after after seeing after seeing the trailer, I'm incredibly hyped. I'm incredibly hyped. And Midgar looks pretty amazing as well. So Father Axe Keeper's making some French fries in the kitchen while this is playing in the background. There you go. Man, I kind of want some french fries. I've got to behave, though. And Jerry says he just bought eight boxes of Pokemon cards. Wait, I thought you were sitting on the beach swimming with the sharks. How are you doing both? Steve says it looks like the game we've been waiting for. As I said, like, I've got no problem waiting ten years for a game. I'd rather wait ten years and have them make the most epic experience I've ever seen, you know what I mean? But, I mean, how long, how, how long do you guys think we're going to have to wait for this remake? Or at least part one of it, anyway. And we got Shawnee Sean in the house. Welcome, my friend. Have you just finished work? Uh, so, by the way, just a reminder, guys. This is actually the last level. Uh, we're going to be up to the last section pretty soon. And, uh, we should, yeah, we should be fine here. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally hyped for it. I can't even begin to tell you. <laughs> Oh, there you go, Joseph. Thanks a lot. Yeah, now that I'm actually finally streaming in HD every single day, I should look pretty good uh, on full screen, hopefully, for you guys. Oh, you think it looks stupid, Corey? What, Final Fantasy Remake? You think early 2020? Wow, man. You're predicting a pretty early release. Damn it! Hopefully this is a health item. Okay, ask and you shall receive. What else is happening, everyone? No, I don't think anyone replied with how many episodes of Game of Thrones we got left, either. Well, when, it, it, next week is the second last episode, right? Joe wants to know when we get more truck driving streams. Well, now that I'm dual streaming, uh, I'm probably going to start doing them again from next week, Joseph. I was actually going to surprise you guys with one, uh, but I think we'll start doing it again, Joe, from next week. So yeah, we'll take it from there. So they're coming back. I know you guys have really enjoyed the truck simulator streams. And uh, the only reason I wasn't doing them, Joseph, is I was just so overwhelmed with the other one coin only stuff. But now that I can multitask and do two things at once with my internet connection, 
it makes uh, those kind of streams a lot easier. So, yeah, the short answer is they're coming back probably next week, my friend, and that's definite. You've never watched Game of Thrones, Steve? Oh, you're missing out, bro. It's a wonderful show. Three nights, including tonight. Okay, there you go. Boy, how do you think the show's gonna end, guys? Who do you think's gonna end up on the throne? The motorcycle mini game was, was pretty fun in Final Fantasy VII. It was like Road Rash, wasn't it? I, I had fun playing that. Oh, yeah, they absolutely nailed the Resident Evil 2 remake. They did such a phenomenal job on that. Really didn't take them all that long to make the remake for Resident Evil 2, if you think about it. Oh my goodness. A big thank you once again for hanging out, guys. Sorry if I've been talking a year off. As you guys know, we're not just about playing awesome games. But uh, we're very much a social stream here as well, guys. And we're just all about playing cool games and having a good time with one another. There we go. I'm kind of, kind of almost out of health here. It's kind of dangerous. Last episode is... Oh, last episode's next week already. Damn, man. That snuck up on us, didn't it? I wonder how... It's probably going to be a two-hour long episode or something, though. Hey. Oh, man. It's going to be crazy. You think Batman's going to end up on the... Maybe. Uh, I haven't actually, Corey. Uh, Jerry wants to know what I'm eating tomorrow on Beat It or Eat It. If I fail the video game challenge next week, guys, I need to eat a dog food sandwich. So, uh, damn it. Alright, I'm just going to use another life. Fuck this guy! Sorry, alright, here we go. We're going to try this again. We'll be more careful. Yeah, this week, guys, uh, if I fail the time challenge for uh, Adventure Island 2, I need to eat a dog food sandwich live on stream. And I'll be making it before I come on. Damn it! I'm sick of these guys! Stop hitting me! Fucking asshole! There you go, that's the first rage for today. I'm starting to get really pissed off now. <laughs> you think He-Man's gonna get the throne because he has the power? How you going, EDF? It's good to see you. Heather with another 200 stars. Thank you, Heather. I appreciate you. What can we give to Heather today? I need, to, I need to find a cool screen for Heather. Here we go. I will see you at the party later on, Heather. See you at the party. See you at the party, Richter. Thank you, Heather. That probably wasn't the star screen you were hoping for, but I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, no. No, I've got to eat, like, wet dog food. You know, tin dog food. So I'll put a small can of tin dog food on a sandwich with cheese, tomato, uh, chili sauce, and just eat it like a, a regular sandwich. <laughs> oh, I can only beat them with safe states, Steve. They're very, very hard games. How you going, Tony? Hooroo! Jerry says, that's not fair, that game's easy. Adventure Island, on what planet is Adventure Island 2 an easy game, you smart ass? <laughs> Adventure Island 2 ain't easy. What the hell, bro? I'm probably, so far with the challenges, guys, I've uh, won four and I've lost, no, hang on. I've won three and I've lost four, so I'm still losing more than I'm winning. Technically, I've won two and lost five. Because to be a good sport, even though one of the times I did win, I still did the challenge. So technically, I've uh, won two challenges and I've lost five. So I think I'm giving you guys what you want to see, and that's me eating gross food. So I'm not just screwing everyone out of their star donations. Don't forget, on the Beat It or Eat It show, guys, if you do send uh, a star donation, it slows down my progress. Because I obviously have to stop to send a star screen. <laughs> So, yeah, sometimes, you know, sometimes less is more, Rodrigo, right? I think so, too. Yeah, my butt that game is easy. Exactly, Steven. Next, a cat food sandwich. Yeah, I'll probably do a cat food shake. I'm doing the dog food sandwich, so I might do the cat food shake. Put it in the blender of doom. How you going, Daniel? It's good to have you. Thanks for coming in. There we go. I like that this beam at least kills the other enemies as well. 
how we should just be able to smash this son this year. One more time. Almost there, guys. Now, what's been going on, Daniel? Have you had a good day today? How's the family going? Yeah, no, I am three and four. But what I said was, Lauren, even though I won one of the challenges, I still did the challenge. So technically, I've done five challenges, not four, if that makes sense, Lauren. But yeah, if, if you're going by te technicalities, I am three and four. But really, I'm two and five, because I still ate the ox heart, even though I didn't have to. Oh, thank you, Jerry. I appreciate you, man. I like stars. <laughs> thank you, Captain BS. I appreciate you, man. Good to see you still here. Damn it. I'm terrible at Super Metroid. I've never, ever beaten that game. I I'm just not very good at Metroid games. I will try Metroid Prime one day. Hopefully I'm a little bit better at that one. I seriously doubt I will be. Alright, here we go. It does kind of look similar to the door from Super Metroid. Now I know what you're saying. Alright, boss time. I'm gonna... Crap, this guy's pretty hard. I, I can beat him with the next... Damn it! Let's try again. Oh, we got him. Can we can do it. Just gonna keep moving, really, with this guy. Not give him too much distance, though, because he'll do a lunging attack at you. you. Gotta keep close, but then at the same time keep far away. It's kind of an oxymoron. Alex! Oh, you got it, man! Maybe... Yeah, that's right, it is a multiplayer game. Alright, Alex! Dude, we should totally team up. Maybe you can help me on stream one of these days. Alex, thank you for the 378 stars. Super generous. This one's going out to you, sir. Appreciate you, my man. And uh, it's good to have you here as well, Alex. Hopefully uh, we've earned your follow and we can uh, hang out with you some more here at one point only. We're on every single day, my friend. And we usually stream about seven hours a day between all the streamers minimum as well. And uh, for, for anyone else that's new to one coin only, guys, uh, don't forget our goal is to eventually have a big enough team that we can stream 24-7. We've got really, really big dreams for the page, and uh, we're only just beginning here, my friends. I'm just going to concentrate here for a little second. What game is worse, Shaq Fu or Battletoads? Oh, definitely Shaq Fu. I mean, Battletoads is an overrated game, but it's nowhere near as bad as Shaq Fu. At least, at least it's somewhat playable. Oh, very nice, Mark. You've been on Castlevania Kick lately. What did you think of Dracula X? Did you enjoy it? I'm going to have to do a long play of that again soon, aren't I? Right, I'm going to do my little... Uh... Shinobi. Yeah, we, we play a lot of Shinobi on the channel. Shinobi is a game we like to fuck around with here. Alright, there we go. I'm going to use my little special here. Boom! Yeah, that'd be cool too, Steve. I'd like to work something out like that in the future as well. It's e easier said than done to coordinate. But we'll definitely work it out. Steve with 100 stars. Thank you, my man. Very, very generous of you. Big 100 smackaroos. Thank you so much, homie Slice. So what else has been happening today anyway? What did you guys all get your mum for Mother's Day? I didn't ask you what you got her yet. Big shame on you if you didn't get your mum a gift today. <laughs> the emulator won't run the Porter Symphony of the Night. What emulator are you using, Mark? It, that's usually a game that doesn't uh, struggle to run. Oh, damn, Rodrigo. That's a, that's a really big comment to read, my friend. I, I ain't going to be able to read all that. Maybe send it to my inbox. <laughs> That is a lot to freaking read, bro. I'm, you do realize, Rodrigo, I'm streaming right now. I can't read a book. I don't have time to read a book right now. No, I'm just kidding, bro. I'll get back to you later on, all right? Oh, we're going to finish him off here. Come on, we've got to be close. Then we're going to be doing the Megazord battles next. Have I played Battle for the Grid? I've heard of it, but I've never actually tried it, Sean. What console was that one on again?
Oh, there we go, we got him. All right, we're gonna do the final few battles. Uh, unfortunately, the final boss battles in this are a little bit underwhelming. They're kind of easy. Oh my goodness, I'm getting thirsty. I don't have the aircon today. I've just got the window open. But it's still a pretty hot day in sunny Queensland here. Oh, now I know the one you're talking about. Uh, Shay, Shay's been doing that, I think, Sean, hasn't he? Didn't he do a couple late-night streams of that game himself? You've never seen an active stream of the Fight Club game. That was the PS2 game, right, Justin? Yeah, maybe we can look into that. I've never even played Fight Club. I wonder if I can get it working. Oh, okay. Well, you know what, Rodrigo? I mean, that makes logical sense, I guess. It's all perception in the end, isn't it? There you go. Jerry bought his mum a bigger TV for a room. You bought her a TV all the way from Maui? You are a good son, my friend. There we go. I love the theme song. It's cool that they included voice in this game, too. Like, don't forget, this is a 16-bit game, and it actually has speech on the cartridge. I mean, that's pretty cool. They did a really good job with the theme song on this. Super Nintendo always had amazing music, though, didn't it? There we go. Let's go! Man, I love the Power Rangers theme. It's fucking awesome! There we go. We're gonna, we're gonna kick the living piss out of you, you stupid bird thing. Oh, good, good to see you, Mookie. Thanks for coming in. Uh, this is the Power Rangers game on Super Nintendo. We're actually doing a Power Rangers marathon today. So we're going to showcase different Power Rangers and, and Super Sentai games. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be on for the, at least three hours, possibly four, depending on how many people want to hang around. All right, there we go. We're going to use our little special... There we are. You need to try it. It's kind of like Power Stone. Yeah, I've got no experience with Power Stone. I do remember D-Wayne did some Power Stone recently, though, didn't you, D-Wayne, if you're still here? Yeah, oh, that sounds nice, Kevin. And don't forget, it doesn't matter if it's for your mum or for your missus. Uh, it's not about spending a lot of money. It's always about the thought, guys. I truly think it's about putting thought into your gift, even if it costs nothing. So, you know, if, so if someone complains about it, you need to drop that gold digger. The same. <laughs> the Genesis had some amazing tunes as well, Jerry. I think on the whole, like, Genesis definitely had some standouts, like Shinobi, Streets of Rage. But I think Super Nintendo, as far as their soundtracks went, were just consistent across the board. Vince wants Baron Corbin to win money in the bank, Payron says. I know he does. I know this, sir. I totally know it. Oh, no worries, RJ. My pleasure. Hopefully we'll see you more often, my friend. As I said, we do nostalgic games. We do new stuff as well. Uh, but we're mainly a retro stream. I would say that we're about 85% retro and 15% new school here. But we do retro games every single day, guys. So uh, if you're new here, guys, we'd love to see more of you. 100% free to watch at one point only. You're welcome to leave a tip and support us. But uh, we never, ever expect anything from you guys. We're just so grateful to have your time. So yeah. We're all one one ranking here as well. We call ourselves the Sumbish Army here at one point only. And, uh, you know, we're just one big gigantic round table. You know, no no leader, no no ranking. We're just all uh, here in a big brotherhood and sisterhood. We're going to take over the whole freaking planet together. One stream at a time. It was pretty eye-opening, Ryan. As I said, I just watched it last night. It was, it was pretty sad, dude, hey? It's, um, the whole family just had a really, really tough time of it. I, oh, man. Uh, Kevin said he doesn't think his, uh, family was cursed, though. He just thinks that, um, it was just a horrible misfortune that, you know. He, he doesn't think the family was cursed. He thinks it was just a horrible coincidence. Anyway, it's just such a shame what happened to the Von Erics. Such a talented family. We almost got this, guys. Do a little special here. There we go. Come on, this is close. And we're just about finished the game, guys. Just gonna get a few more. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, this is really close. At least I'm making an interesting view. 
Oh no, I missed him. Wow, what an epic battle. There we go. Fuck off, we got you. That was awesome. I just dropped my water bottle. That was stupid. Yeah, I've seen the cartoon of Voltron. At my grandmother's house, I've still got the VHS of the movie to me. I still got the original Voltron movie on VHS floating around. Actually, I've got two copies. I think my mum's got one too. They bought me two copies of the VHS for some reason. Oh, I miss the original Power Rangers too, RJ. So don't go anywhere, guys. As soon as we've just seen this little cutscene, we're going to be loading our next Power Rangers game. As I said, we're going to be here for at least another few hours, guys. If I get some time, I may do a late night stream tonight too. Maybe something with zombies. We'll see how we go. I'm not going to argue that, Andrew. You'd probably destroy me. How you been going, Fillmore? It's good to have you again. I've been keeping really, really well, dude. What have you been doing with your time lately? Good to have you back. Thank you, Captain BS. We got it in the end. There we go. So, break... We're going to end this with Breakdancing Zachary. The credits are just going to roll up now. You should have just fought the whole game with that fighting style. It would have been more interesting, wouldn't it? There you go. I'm not really a big margarita guy, Jerry. If I like, I like, I like my stiff drinks, but if I have a girly drink, I like to have a pina colada on the beach. I love cream and I love coconut. So, we're going to load up our next game, guys. I don't know how long we're going to play this for. I guess we'll play this until we get stuck. Uh... But, oh, I've got to, I've got to load it from here. All right, give me, give me one second, guys. Just loading up the next game. Don't freaking leave me. I won't be long. Sentai. There we go. So I don't even know how to pronounce this game, but it's a Sentai game. It's basically Japanese Power Rangers. We'll see how we go with this. All right, so we'll just turn the volume down a bit. So we'll play this maybe for a half an hour, forty-five minutes, and then we'll move on to the Power Rangers. The movie on Sega Genesis, guys. So we'll see how we go. I haven't actually, Cedric. I've only played the version released on the West. So, sorry about the cutscenes, guys. Just just ignore the cutscenes. We don't play NES games for cutscenes anyway. I'm going to be doing the Game Gear version of uh, Power Rangers at the end. So let's see how we go here, guys. Gonna, gonna have to use a lot of safe states here till I get used to the controls. There we go. Japanese Power Rangers, everyone. How you pronounce it? Kyoryu Sentai Zuranja. That's how you pronounce it. There we go. So that's that's the game we're playing today. It's not the same if you don't do it without the Japanese accent, you see. If any of my if, if any of my Japanese friends are watching today, I do apologize. I probably just completely butchered it. <laughs> anyway, moving on. I'm just going to turn the TV down one notch. Let me know what you think of this game anyway, guys. If you, if you, if you stop enjoying this, you let me know. We can always move on to something else. Zulranja, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Alright, next section. Yeah, what do you think? I never even knew this existed. I've completely forgot about this game. And then I went on... um. I went on YouTube and actually watched the Angry Video Game Nerd episode. And the Angry Video Game Nerd uh, was actually complaining about this game. And I was all like, some bitch, it doesn't look that bad. Seriously, the Angry Video Game Nerd just has a real big sook sometimes. Oh, there we go, we got him. There you go, Japanese Power Rangers, basically. Super Sentai. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry to hear Fillmore. You hang in there, hey? Yeah, bro. Life can be a headache sometimes, dude. We're here for you, don't forget, though, man. Some Bish Army's always got you. Is that... Apparently... Oh, crap. The, 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 the little floaty controls are a little bit to get used to. Yeah, I like this, you know, it's... I like this game, because it's got really big sprites, you know? kind of reminds me of, like, uh... Jackie Chan's Kung Fu with the big sprites and everything. So, Ahmed says he's played this game. Oh, that's cool. Can we go in this door? Is this where we have to go? Alright, boss time. Alright, I'm going to try and try and beat this boss. How am I supposed to shoot him? 
Who am I supposed to shoot? I'm trying to work out the pattern here. How do I shoot him? Where am I? How am I supposed to shoot him? Okay, you're gonna shoot him in the head. That's fine. Shoot him in the head. All right, just shoot him in the big old head. All right. Well, not the easiest boss in the world to freaking attack, but. Did we get him? Not yet. All right, let's try this again. All right. I don't know if there's a continue system in this, but we'll certainly find out. Alright, there we go. Just gonna shoot him a few more times in the head. Man, I tell you what. Damn it! Oh my gosh! I don't feel like I've even taken any damage off him yet. What the hell? <laughs> Aim for the years? I mean, it doesn't. didn't even look like I was taking any damage off him. What am I missing? Am I missing? Oh, what am I doing wrong? Someone fucking help me! Oh, okay. May maybe I'll skip this game in a minute. Maybe we can continue. We'll see. This is pretty crazy. What the fuck, bro? Okay, there you go. I remember when the angry video game name was, you know, was singing this song. <laughs> ah, alright. Well, you know what? We might come back to that one. Fuck it. That didn't really work out, did it? There you go. That was a little preview of what's to come. Holy shit, I better move on just before I completely screw it up for myself. I don't want everyone to leave because I suck at that. So we'll do uh, the Power Rangers movie and then we'll play some other Power Rangers games afterwards. Fuck, that did not go well, did it? So, uh, alright, we're going to change the difficulty. I'm probably going to play this on normal but give myself some more lives if I can. Alright, there we go. Power Rangers movie. On the Sega Genesis. Wow, okay, so rank normal. Now we'll play on normal today, and uh, we'll give it our best shot. All right, here we go. When in doubt, pull out, exactly. i still got some other games to show you. I've got the Game Gear version of Power Rangers. I also want to show you the Power Rangers movie game on Super Nintendo. I've also got a different Super Sentai game uh, to show you guys. So I do have plenty of things to show you. We're not going anywhere in a hurry. So here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna move on here. <laughs> there you go. Always, always, never too late to rescue the. There you go. Can we use a white ranger? We'll use a white ranger because we haven't used a white ranger yet today. Oh, I see Clifford. Thank you, man. We, we might go back and have another try later on. I just want to keep the flow going. There we go. All right, Ooze Man, let's go. Freddy with a hundred stars. Freddy, thank you so much for the support, my man. Really appreciate you today. This one's going out to you. Thank you, dude. <laughs> thank you, homie. Really appreciate ya. Yeah, guys, that didn't work out. There's nothing worse than when you try and do a new game or try and do something different that you haven't done and it all goes to shit. I thought it was going to be easier than that, but... I guess, I guess, uh, I guess uh, Angry Video Game Nerd's gonna forever be better at me at that game. <laughs> it's alright. So yeah, what, what I might try, I, I've also got uh, Power Rangers on PS2 to try. Uh, I've got Power Rangers the movie on Super Nintendo as well, which is different to this. You can actually use a Green Ranger in that. Um, what else have we got to try? Whole pile of stuff. Hey, going, Jeffrey? Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming in. And I'll, I'll give the other Sentai game a try as well. We might try that before we try the, the Power Rangers movie, so... Alright, we've we got a plan of attack here, guys. Hold the attack button and this will launch a special attack. Well, there you go. You just taught me something, Brian. Thanks, man. It's kind of Streets of Rage, but Power Rangers, pretty much, yeah. Um, the only thing that kind of sucks about this game is they recycle a lot of the same enemies. Like, you're going to see Ooze Man here about maybe 50 times. But it, it is pretty. It is a pretty fun game to play. Pizza the Hut, you think's the cheesiest bad guy ever? He'd have to be up there, wouldn't he? Damn it! Stop grabbing me! I should just play it on easy mode. I'm not feeling. I'm not feeling this today. How you going, Kevin? It's good to see you. Andrew says he actually likes his Power Rangers game better. Oh, it looks like we did the right thing then, didn't we? 
<laughs> I'm relieved. That works out for me. How you doing, Jeffrey? I'm good, thank you very much, sir. What's new today? What did you get up to with your weekend? Oh my gosh, man. There's too much grabby, grabby shit going on here. Like, Dewey, did you just grab my ass? Do you want to? Oh, no worries, Eric. I'm sorry to hear your day was stressful, bro. Hopefully we can set you on the right foot now. No. Power Rangers movie on Super Nintendo Green Ranger. It wasn't, it wasn't modded, uh, but apparently the Power Rangers movie game on Super Nintendo uh, doesn't really have anything to do with the movie. So, the, the, for some reason, I think the Green Rangers is included. But yeah, that's, that's what happened in, in that game for whatever reason. Whoops, I just pressed the wrong button, my bad. I nearly crashed the whole stream then. Well, thank you, BS. Slice up that purple blanket, Bishes. I will. Richard actually prefers this game the best. And you just got on from watching Game of Thrones, Kevin. How did you find this week's episode? Was it a good one? Alright, stage one is clear. Cool. I didn't end up seeing the new Power Rangers movie, my man. I'm still open to watch it. We'll have a look into that in the future or something. And Clifford says the Super Nintendo only has the Ivan Ooze as the final boss, and that's it, and everything else is different. We got Vanessa in the house. Good to see you, Vanessa. Thank you for joining us on Facebook. Eric says he's in the process of moving. Been a long day with work and carrying every... You, you make sure you don't overdo it, my friend. Maybe you need to have a quick 20-minute break and have yourself a beer. By the way, Aslan right now is meowing outside my bedroom door. He's being a little bit of a... A little bit of a stage 5 clinger. Well, Aslan, you've been a real shithead all day, so you have to wait for your pad. Aslan's been very, very naughty. Right, here we go. Stage stage number 2, guys. Probably the best episode of the series so far. I'm excited. Alright, we're going to use Zack Attack this time. Well, it's not actually Zack Attack, but you know. I just, uh... Always call the Black Ranger Zack Attack. It's just a cool name. I want to call my future children. I want to call my future son Zack just so I can call him Zack Attack. Would I? I'm actually going to be doing some Dragon Ball Advance very, very soon. Uh, but James, I don't know, man. I mean, I've tried to play those Dragon Ball Z fighting games, and they're really, really hard, dude. I suck at them, so I don't know what else to tell you. I think, I think, I think those kind of games people expect you to be good at them, don't they? Oh, no worries, Rodrigo. You have a good sleep, my man. Thank you so much for the hangout, sir. I appreciate ya. He's Adam, not Zack, exactly. It was a force of habit saying Zack attack. I just said that. Ricky, when isn't Aslan naughty? I know, he's like a feral cat, seriously. You know, Aslan just, just does whatever he feels like and no fucks are ever given. And Wolven Film says Dragon Ball Z Fighters is actually new friendly. Maybe I'll have to look into that on uh, the Nintendo Switch or something. Maybe we could do Dragon Ball Z Fighters. Is there like a single player campaign in that, by the way? Uh, Wolven Films, it's worth playing. Maybe we can look into it. I'll have. I'll see how we go. I'll see how much it costs. Yeah, and Gary says he loves Dragon Ball Z. I'm not a big Dragon Ball Z guy, but my brother-in-law absolutely digs it. You know, my brother-in-law's always talking about uh, Dragon Ball Z, uh, the, the series and the movies and all that. And you know, I'm always sharing an interest in it with him, but I never know what he's talking about. You know what I mean? If you're watching that, you need to educate me. <laughs> Oh, okay, gotcha. Thank you, Joe. Zack's Blaster works best at long distances. Damn, I didn't know you could use a blaster in this. I didn't even realize you could use a blaster in this. What button is the blaster? 
Watch out for cars. That's right, we got to watch out for the cars in this one, don't we? Pretty good advice there, I think, by party people. Yeah, this one's pretty cool. I, 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 I kind of prefer to play this on the easy difficulty. Uh, I, I, when it comes to beat-em-ups, I just like to cruise through them. But uh, normal's not so hard. But what's really annoying about this playthrough is they just keep grabbing you. Like, these, these ooze men are just a bunch of pedos, dude. Seriously, they just touchy-touchy-feely-feely. It's like, get the fuck away from me. Stop putting your grubby hands on me. Anyway. Uh, this is, uh, this is Sega Genesis, Ayub, and Ayub, thank you very much for coming in, I hope you're great. I'll hold the attack button to, to do the old oh, Damn it, I don't have enough time! Everyone always, it doesn't matter whether it's this kind of game, or whether it's, like, Bad Dudes, or some other game, everyone's like, Rick, do the charge attack, Rick, do the charge attack, Rick, use the Mega Buster, but every time I try and do it, I always get fucking hit before it works, it's like, it doesn't work, see? Okay, okay, maybe we got him that time. That was a rare freaking exception. Stop asking me to do my charge attack. See, he keeps grabbing me. I can't do it. Like, you, I don't, it's not fun. You have to wait four seconds for the fucking sunfish to hit. Anyway, sorry, Captain BS. I got that out of my system. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Jason, send me a message later on, my friend. I can help you out and put you in the right direction, sir. I mean, if you want to learn how to play this stuff, there's a lot of tutorials for it, too. It's pretty easy to set up. Sorry, guys. I got that out of my system now. Yeah, see? There's such a delay. Even when you let go of the button, it's another two freaking second delay to shoot the fucking thing. Alright, there we go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And that is why I don't use a gun. <laughs> I just need to get good, that's all. Hopefully I can find some health in a sec. We just need to get good and we'll be fine. How you going there, Luther? It's good to see you again. You want to see some more turtles, eh? No, it's not your bad BS. I'm just, I'm just a noob. It's not your fault. Damn it, get off me, you pedo! Oh my gosh, stop grabbing me! Alright. Yeah, no worries, Jason. Alex, how you going, bro? Alex, you did come back in time for the rage. Alex, this one's going out to you. Oh, yeah! With the mega, yeah, the mega, yeah, the mega power, yeah. Mega power, yeah. Thank you so much, my homie Slice. I really appreciate ya. So, I think what we'll do is after this game, we'll try another Super Sentai game, see how we go. Uh, if you guys can give me advice on how to play it properly, that'd be awesome. And then after that game, uh, we'll go on to the other Power Rangers movie uh, game. And then I still want to do some Power Rangers on Game Gear if we have time. As I said, I'm going to be here for at least three hours on this stream, guys. So you're going to see a lot of different Power Rangers games. And uh, you can all decide which ones you like the best anyway. There we go. We got some health back finally. It's all right, Brian. I'll keep practicing, dude. My, I know my ass is getting whooped, and thank you very much for telling the whole world, Salty. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're the, they're the Power Rangers are like a packet of Skittles, my friend. They're like every color in the freaking rainbow. That's alright. Uh, what, what else was I going to say? If I can get some time after this, guys, as I said, I may come on for a late night stream tonight, too. I'm just not 100% sure yet. Uh, we'll see how we do. I actually feel like playing some House of the Dead. Who likes zombie stuff? Do you guys like watching zombie games? I haven't I haven't played House of the Dead for a couple months already. I was tempted to get that on, but uh, it's up to you guys if you actually want to see that game, of course. You actually have the Game Gear Power Rangers. It's pretty good, actually, isn't it, Freddy? Not a long game, but it's definitely one of the more fun uh, Power Rangers games. So the Game Gear version of Power Rangers is surprisingly uh, playable. The only thing that's a little bit annoying um, about the Game Gear Power Rangers is the sound and the music. But, I mean, they still did a pretty good job. They did their best. Here's my spray gun. Damn it, I missed him. Ayub wants to know if I can play Final Fight. Ayub, I've played it pretty recently. 
Uh, but that game is in our rotation, so you can usually expect to see it once every couple months. So we'll play it again soon. Not today, though, dude. Oh, that's okay, Heather. You need to get your beauty sleep, my friend. It's all good. You can catch the replay later if you want to, anyway. You can see all the sumbishery we get up to. Beep, beep. You never played the first or the fourth House of the Dead. I, I play House of the Dead Overkill. It's kind of like Pulp Fiction. Play Carnage on Super Nintendo. You mean Maximum Carnage, Andrew? There we go. We got him. Big thank you for joining us, are you, by the way? I hope we've uh, earned your follow. It's good to have you here. Thank you for joining this the stream. Big shout out to all our new friends who are here for the first time today. And there we go, we got my friend Sophia from Brisbane in the house. Special shout out to Sophia. How you going, my girl? Good to have you. Sophia is my friend from Brisbane. Very talented, one of the best uh, photographers in the city. Thanks for coming in, my friend. Yeah, we're just playing some retro games today. We're just doing a, a Power Rangers theme stream today. Yeah, but yeah, as you can see, this is what I do with my life, Sophia, as I was just telling you before. <laughs> We're currently live on both Facebook and YouTube. Yeah, I still need to go see it, Jerry. Oh, here we go. So we've got our first uh, Megazord battle here. You can't actually, uh, you can't actually jump uh, with this guy, which is kind of annoying. You can block though, so I mean that's kind of cool. You, you're not a noob, Don. What are you talking about? <laughs> and Acton says he just finished the solo. I mean, what did you think of solo, by the way? I tried to watch Solo a couple years ago, um, or no, about a year ago I tried to watch Solo, actually. I just couldn't really get into it, hey, I mean, I didn't think it was necessarily bad or anything. I just personally couldn't get into it myself. Captain BS, I hope you're not upset at me, my brother. I was only kidding, by the way. I was only pretend angry. It was just all for comic relief, sir. There's an Aussie lady. Yeah, we've got Sophia in here. She's my friend from Brisbane. We know each other quite well, don't we, Sophie? We go way back. Sophia is, uh, has been working uh, at my nightclub events for years, so she uh, does all the photos and stuff for all the big events all over Brisbane. Yeah, that's a way. <laughs> yeah, I just, um, you know, it was... Uh, uh, I don't know that much about the actor that played Solo, but I think anyone that's taken on the role that Han Solo did so well has really, really big shoes to fill, you know what I mean? So, I kind of already felt like it was a, a backward step in that department. They really should have honestly just gotten, like, uh, uh, Harrison Ford to do the voiceover, and then maybe CGI'd his face to make him look younger or something. They could have somehow gotten, like, Harrison Ford to still do it, I'm sure, but, oh well. <laughs> oh, I see Wolven Films. Damn it, I've got a headache. I need I need to fill up my uh, water bottles at the credits, guys. I'll, I'll, as soon as this game is finished, I'm just going to quickly fill up my water and I'll come straight back. Where, when did I first meet you, Sophia? Was it at Hot Gossip or was it at the Victory? You remember the Victory Thursday nights? That they, they were pretty mental. <laughs> there you go, Marquez. Oh, Marquez. Is that how you pronounce it, Marquez? Good to see you, Marquez. Thank you for coming in. Oh, thank you, so Sophia, what are your favorite games, by the way? Is there anything that you like to play in your own time? Does she know how much of an... Yeah, I, I do have a bit of a, an anger issue when I play these games. I do have to warn you in advance. I can be quite scary. <laughs> and we've got Amariah on YouTube. Amariah, no, thank you for joining us, my friend. It's good to have you today. Hope you had a, a good Mother's Day today, being Sunday and all. Most, most of the people... Uh, Sophia uh, on our streamer from the United States or the UK, so we're technically from the future, so we're way ahead. And we got he too in the house. Good to see you too. Thank you for coming in. 
I can't believe Harrison Ford's doing another Indiana Jones movie. I mean, if, 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 if Harrison Ford's doing another Indiana Jones movie, he could have totally done the solo movie, but anyway. <laughs> Now that's the question, yeah, it was probably around the same time. I mean, it's been a good five or six years anyway. And David said he got to meet David Jason Frank last month. That's pretty cool. What kind of dude was he? Was he alright, dude? I've got a story about Harrison Ford. My friend Manny used to drive Uber. And uh, he was randomly driving into the city. And he got a call, uh, I got an Uber trip from a guy called Harry. He's like, okay, I'll go pick up this Harry guy. And no shit, I'm not lying to you guys. My friend picked up Harrison Ford. This was when he was in my state. Because Harrison Ford, like, filmed the new Blade Runner movie locally. So he was staying in my town. And, uh, my friend picked him up drunk in an Uber. So, yeah. My friend picked up Harrison Ford. How crazy is that? That's a pretty cool story. I, I think it's a cool story. We got D-Wayne back over in uh, YouTube land. Good to see you, D-Wayne. Thanks for coming in. I haven't changed you. <laughs> there we go. Luther's still busting my nuts. Yeah, you, 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 you're going to see a lot of anger issues here, Sophia, because everyone... We've got... we've got One coin only has some of the best viewers in the whole planet, but they do like to bust my nuts a little bit. They do, they do get on my case a bit. That's because they know I'm so temperamental, I kind of bring it on myself. Pe 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 people are entertained when they see Rick here explode. <laughs> now we're all a good bunch of guys. You know, we we we've got a really, really good crowd here, you know what I mean? A bit more of a mature crowd here, we don't have that snotty-nosed Fortnite crowd here. We're not about that Fortnite crowd here at one point only. Enter a room and play Indiana Jones theme on the phone walking in. You know, Spielberg's probably going to be waiting in the shadows ready to sue me if I did that. <laughs> it's Power Rangers time. It is. And, um... I, th I think the order of games we're going to do, I think we're going to slightly change the order of games we're playing today. Uh, we're going to do another Super Sentai game next. So we'll do that on NES. And we'll try Power Rangers the movie on Super Nintendo if we have time. But I, I definitely want to try and get some uh, Game Gear Power Rangers going as well. Alright, good night Heather. Heather with the 500 stars. Thank you so much for the star donation again, girl. Heather has sent something like a million stars today. We really, really appreciate you. Before you go, Heather, I've got a big shout out for you from my good friend, Corey Graves. Hey, what's going on? It is the original savior of misbehavior, Corey Graves. Wanted to take just one second to send a shout out and say thank you to everybody who watches one coin only. When it comes to gaming brands on Facebook, it simply doesn't get any better than one coin only. Trust me. Thank you so much, Heather. We'll see you again tomorrow, hey? Oh, yeah, I mean, if you can't laugh at yourself, Rawley, what can you laugh at, right? That's a good point. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you haven't liked the stream yet, um, and you do want to support and help us out, please give this video a like. That's honestly the best way you can help us out for free. The more likes mean we get more reach, which means we get more exposure. So a big please and thank you. And uh, D-Wayne says he's currently uh, watching this with him. Well, there you go. Couples that watch streams together stay together, apparently. This is what I've heard. And you, um, you think I'm playing the better version? Okay. Well, what I might do is I might play Super Sentai next then, Justin. And then I'll do the Game Gear version. And then if we have time after that, maybe we'll do the Super Nintendo version. So, either way, guys, you've got another hour, hour and a half at least of Power Rangers games still to come. There we go. See how we go here. It, it's very, very much like Streets of Rage. I mean, that's... Just total button bashing goodness here. Yeah, that was Corey Graves, Cristiano. I've got a few shout outs from some of my uh, my new WWE buddies. I mean, I guess anyone's going to be your buddy if you slip them a 50, I guess, right? <laughs> but no, we've, we've got some WWE superstars that were gracious enough to do shout outs. We've got a lot more where that came from. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I, I feel like... Uh, 
I feel like Corey Graves does most of his shoutouts when he wakes up first thing in the morning because his eyes always look like they... He always looks really tired. You can tell Corey Graves works very, very hard. I think he might need a vacation soon. Have I ever heard of Cameo.com? Of course I have, Eric. Cool. Cameo is an amazing place, isn't it? Cameo is great. Yeah, that's the one we're doing next. We're going to be doing Sentai Jetman for as long as we can laugh. I, I'm, I'm struggling against uh, the, uh, the Megazords in Sentai Jetman Clifford, so if you've got any advice for the Megazord battle, uh, that'd be really, really handy. I love the platforming uh, in, in, in Sentai uh, Jetman, but the, the, the Megazord battles kind of make the game disappointing for me. It's the only thing I don't like, but I'm sure you can help me. Oh, thank you, Don. I'll let you know a little bit later. Uh, I'm, I want Tokyo Highway Battle or Tokyo Extreme Racer 1 and 2. They're the two games I want more than anything. Yeah, uh, I, uh, Triple H would probably cost me a thousand Gs for a shout-out. He's pretty expensive. I don't even know if he'd be available. You could always try. You, you think Corey Graves just is on the, the Jamaican tea a little bit too much? He could be. <laughs> And just one more time, I'm just going to send a, a, a quick commercial, guys. Don't forget about our subscription program, guys. Not only will you be sponsoring us if you get a subscription, but you'll get a lot of perks. Now, guys, at the end of the month, we're going to be giving away another console for you all. And uh, we're also going to be doing a charity stream as well. And uh, don't forget, also, if you have a subscription, you go into the major prize draw every time we do a giveaway, and you can make a request. Uh, for whatever Wednesday, guys. So we do like to give back to you for your support as well. So please and thank you. D Wayne thinks I should try and get a shout out from CM Punk. Bro, if I got a shout out from CM Punk, the page would probably go viral. <laughs> Everyone be like, oh my god, it's CM Punk. Gilbert Gottfried is actually available, and I was actually tempted to get Gilbert Gottfried. Um, but I think I want to get Charlie Sheen some more. I'm actually planning on getting Charlie Sheen to do a shout-out for us. But uh, he, he does cost a pretty packet. But I think it'd be worth it. Because, you know, he's, he's, like, very, very mainstream. So, yeah. I, th I think my next big purchase is going to be Charlie Sheen. But we'll see how we go. Would you guys like to see shout out, uh, Charlie Sheen go one coin only winning? That'd be pretty cool, right? <laughs> oh, this is on Sega Genesis, Lauren. Almost got this here. Alright, cool. We're taking care of business. Yeah, someone else said to get David Hayter as well. That might not be half a bad idea. How you going there, Nick? Good to have you. It is indeed, isn't it, my friend? Oh my gosh, it's so freaking sweaty in here. You see, see, I'm doing this infeminate thing with my hands right now. Do you, do you like it? <laughs> oh, goodness. I've almost been on for a good couple hours now, guys. The stream's gone really, really quickly. Always a fun time. How about Rob Schneider? I don't even know if Rob Schneider is available. I could have a look. And we got Kenneth in the house. We got Mr. Sam Blasted Gaming. How you doing, sir? Got Raymond here, too. Jeffrey, that's... I don't really kind of like that hate speech. So no offense, Jeffrey, but I am going to delete that comment. I, I, I didn't really appreciate that, actually. Sorry, dude. Every person has their journey. It's not for me to judge. Oh, I'm going to use the Red Ranger again this time. Oh, thank you, Danger. I appreciate you. I mean, if you guys have got any suggestions for future shoutouts, please message me in my inbox. I, mean, I can do some research and see how we go. Oh, thank you, Eric. I appreciate you. What console am I going to give out at the end of the month? I don't know what prize I'm going to give out at the end of the month. But I'm going to do a prize giveaway. And I'm also going to um, be doing a charity run. 100% of the stars will uh, go go to charity. So, uh, it'll, you know, I won't make a single thing that stream. It'll all be for a good cause. It's time for me to give back a little bit more. Probably going to be doing something for the Starlight Foundation. That's okay. It's all good, Jeffrey. No harm done. 
I actually kind of like the Red Ranger here. He, he seems to be pretty agile. Do you remember how stuck we got in this bit, D Wayne? We keep having to smash open the in entrances in this level. It can be a bit of a handful. Alright, we made our way in there. What was Charlie Sheen's last movie before he hit two and a half men? Wasn't he doing the scary movies or something? By the way, if I miss any donations, please let me know, guys. I'm sometimes all over the place in the chat and I accidentally miss a star donation or two. I don't want anyone to ever think I'm rude. Major League was in the 90s, wasn't it? He was in all those scary movies. So what else is happening, guys? Any other news you got for me today? What's everyone getting up to with their Monday? Again, uh, I hope you guys at work tomorrow have a good shift. I hope you don't struggle too much with the Monday-itis. If your boss gives you too much of a hard time, don't you worry. I'll make sure I give him a big old punch in the big old dick. Then he'll never ever mess with you again. <laughs> if Cedric wants to give away a Neo Geo, oh, dude, you don't have to give away a, such an expensive gift on my account, my friend. You just enter the competition yourself, sir. How recent is that pick? Which pick is, 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 is that? Oh, you, you're not talking to me. Can we open this thing? No, we got to keep moving along here. Oh, do we go this way? I'm starting to run out of time. The problem is if you run out of time, the clock starts to count down. I think we need to clear this path over there. So the sword special works great when airborne. You mean the charge? Okay, that. Okay, yeah, because it's like a show you can. I think you're Captain BS. We'll keep that one into account. Which? Uh, why can't I get out of here? Oh, that's right. He was in Machete as well. I completely forgot about that. He, he was credited as Kalosh uh, Sheen, technically. Why can't I get out of here? How do I get out of this son of a bitch? Do I need to smash this open as well? Damn it, I'm running out of time. Let's get out of here. Alright, we made it. Jeez. Oh, jeez, Tony. I hope everything's okay, man. Prayer's going out to you, sir. D Wayne's starting to think that CM Punk's going to go to AEW. Yeah, I mean, if he went back to WWE, he'd be signing his death warrant. So, Scary Movie 5 was in 2013. Did, didn't, didn't you guys, did you guys hear the rumours that they might be doing a Two and a Half Men reboot? I mean, if it's on the internet, it must be true. But has anyone heard anything else? Because I heard there may be a Two and a Half Men reboot. Mind you, I think Charlie Sheen would be too old for the role now. Yeah. Which one is that? Oh, okay. Just trying to pay attention to the chat. Everyone's just kind of mingling, having their own conversations. It's nice to see everyone in the Sunbish army making new friends right now. Which, well. <laughs> there we go. This is, this is the one you were talking about. Now, now that I'm actually trying to use the move, it's not working. There we go. We'll be fine. There we go. See, you're not wrong, Captain BS. Appreciate ya. Tell you what, Captain BS is like an expert at every single freaking video game, seriously. You like Johnny Five, but of video games. There we go, we got him. Stranger things have happened though. I mean even Bret Hart went back to WWE, even Warrior went back to WWE after that horrible documentary. So I mean there, there's a lot of other people I thought that would not go back to WWE more than CM Punk. And they still did. Hogan was one of them. Hogan was even one of them. We forget about that, you know, with the whole steroid scandal and everything. I didn't think Hogan would be back. But there you go, he returned. <laughs> Father Axe Keeper says he wants to see Caitlyn Jenner on two and a half. Man, how about we don't? <laughs> you think he's more like Alfred? You kind of like my Alfred, aren't you, Captain? Captain BS. <laughs> And then, good to see you, Tay. Tay says you love this game. I really enjoy this game too, my friend. Two, yeah, Danger Boon says they should call it two and a half. You're going to get me in trouble. 2019, we're going to offend someone. But just for the record, Danger, that's hilarious. 
Two and a half. It's ma'am. Sorry. All right, here we go. Thunder Megazord, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what, the cutscenes in this are really nice for a Genesis game. Kevin says, will the runner-up in the next giveaway get a case of Fosters? Man, I have to tell you guys like 50 million times, we don't fucking sell so Fosters here in Australia, but no one listens to me, everyone's like, uh, Rick, uh, you got Fosters? And I'm like, son of a bitch! How many times do I have to... That's it, no, full screen mode for a second. Kevin, how many times do I have to tell you, some bitches, that we don't sell Fosters in Australia? You Americans and you guys in Canada and you guys in the UK, like drink Fosters more than Australians do. So every time you point one finger at me, three fingers are pointing right back at you. And that's all I got to say about that. We're going to continue with the game now. All right, cool. Good talk, guys. Good talk. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's why we... <laughs> How you going, Quinn? It's good to see you. There you go, Justin says, why the hell would he want a Fosters anyway? Well, there you go, sir. Fosters is an import. Yeah, see, we don't really brew it over here anymore. I know that they brew it in Canada and they brew it in the UK. I know I know a lot of people in the UK drink Fosters. <laughs> Three fingers and a thumb, exactly. And Amariah says Fosters is pretty big in the UK. Do you enjoy a Fosters, Amariah? Australia, Fosters is Australian, but back off. <laughs> no, I'm good, Rolly. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. I'm a little, little unhinged, yes, but I'm fine. Why would any... Dustin says, why would anyone want to drink that cat pee? Any, I mean, I don't know. I mean, some, some people have their own little things, I guess. Oh, gosh. All right, here we go. We've got a little swipey swipey thing here. You can use your special weapon, but it does take some damage off you as well, but it just speeds the process up a bit. There we go. Look, ah, gosh, I, that's what I've always hated about 16-bit beat-em-ups, guys, is that, you know, the, the, the enemies always float off the screen, and it's just really, really frustrating because, you know, they can hit you, but you can't hit them. Damn it, get back here, you gold mother bitch. Hey, oh, D Wayne, D Wayne, don't don't go there, brah. Don't go there, brah. I know you I know you're telling fibs. You think I should do an up close and my why why would you want to see that for Cedric? Yeah, Tony says Foster's is made of my cat you Yeah, has Landurin. I just mix a certain little special, like, extra into his dinner, and boom, you got some Fosters. You can make a really good milkshake with a ca You know what? That's actually not a bad idea. I wonder if you can make a tasty milkshake using a, a caffeinated beverage. You got me thinking now. Maybe, like, a caffeinated float or something? How is 4X? 4X is... Ah... Uh, the young kids over in Australia drink a beer called 4X Summer Bright, which is a nice tasting beer. Uh, but the old generation drink 4X Gold and 4X Bitter, which is really, really dirty, old, cheap, domestic beer. I don't like it. There's a lot of people that swear by 4X and say it's a great beer. It's kind of garbage. We also have another garbage beer over here called Victorian Bitter. That's a garbage beer too. I would say VB is our new Foster's. VB is probably the equivalent of Foster's in Australia. Everyone, everyone's not drinking out of Foster's cans in Australia. Everyone in Australia is drinking out of VB cans. So uh, I would go on Google and Google Victorian Bitter or VB Beer, and you'll see exactly what I mean. So yeah, that's a fun little, that's a fun little fact for you. Anyway, there we go. We need to use the pink ranger this time. Apparently, so Clifford, yes. <laughs> And Clifford says he's just going to stick with the, the rum and coke. Probably a good idea, sir. There we go. You going to send me some steel reserve, you think? This chick seems to have a good uh, uppercut move too, uh, BS. Who, who's already Googled BB beer? You'll see exactly what I mean. <laughs> Mm. 
No, it's not boring, David. You're just taking care of your health, bro. You don't, you don't need, I mean, you can have, what if I told you, David, you could still have fun and not be on those things? Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. As a joke, when you visited your friend in Queensland, you'll bring a 24-pack of bosses. No, bring a 24-pack of VB. You'll probably get a better reaction. Yeah, like, you know, I get people coming into these streams all the day, every day, and Mariah going, Oh, so have you got a bowling alley? Oh, Rick, do you have movie theatres where you live? Oh, do you guys have, like, restaurants and McDonald's in Australia? I'm like... Motherfucker, not every Australian lives in the freaking outback. We do live in the city, you know. Like, I live pretty close to the Gold Coast. The, the Gold Coast is just like LA, brother, these days. <laughs> I live in Brisbane. Brisbane's a, a massive city. It's actually a work of art. It's a really beautiful city. It's not freaking outback. It's a city on the river. <laughs> Anyway, continuing on here, I just have my little rant. I just lost 10 people for my uh, temper tantrum. I'm sorry if I offended you guys, but I just speak from the heart sometimes. <laughs> yeah, very few, yeah, most people in Australia live on the East Coast, and it's all city or beach. Big thank you once again to our awesome crowd, not just chilling on Facebook, but on YouTube as well. Appreciate having you guys. BB, so VB is owned by the Fosters Group. Well, there you go, Justin. <laughs> I haven't, Lauren. No. Oh, did you really, Kevin? There you go. I'm, I'm trying to read your comments, but I'm just getting exploded by everything. This level's a bit of a handful. Don't forget, guys. We've got some more Power Rangers games coming as soon as we're done here. And uh, also, just one more time, guys, if you could help us out with a quick like on the video, we'd really appreciate ya. The more likes we get, the better. You can't put a price on free promotion. The free like is more valuable than 50 stars. I'm not even kidding. Like, seriously? I would rather make, make 300 likes a video than 100 stars on a stream, because that means we can invite our new friends. It means the page is getting reach. So uh, you, you can't put a price on promotion. That's how that's how important lights are for the page. There we go. We got this. And Honker says there's a new Power Rangers game on PS4. Yeah, the the fighting game. I've got the other one. I've got the beat 'em up game as well. It's not as bad as what people say, but it is a little bit grind heavy. Thank you, Acton. Appreciate you. So, oh, Sophia's still here. It's nice to see you're still hanging around. Yeah, no, sounds good, Sophia. You have a good evening. Sorry if I'm a little bit unhinged. I might be scaring you a bit. <laughs> uh, it's, it's been good to talk to you again, Sophia. Glad to catch up. I'll uh, speak to you over the week. So Freddy says you've been enjoying Battle of the Grid so far. I really enjoyed the gameplay from everything I've seen so far. Eric says he heard Melbourne is the party spot. Yeah, um, Melbourne is probably the only state uh, in the country that hasn't had its partying culture completely ruined. There's really, really, really strict partying laws now in New South Wales, Sydney, and Queensland, Brisbane. Uh... Really, really strict drinking laws now, which has completely ruined our tourism. It's really stupid. But yeah, if you do want to party, Melbourne's a place to go. They've still got 24-hour nightclubs there. Charles says, my stream is really laggy today. Try backing out and coming back in, man, because I don't have any uh, connection problems, sir. It's all on your end at the moment, unfortunately. Oh, I just beat the queer. Yeah, I, 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 cert I certainly uh, showed that statue who was boss, right, Cedric? <laughs> Nate says he drank. I was drinking Jaeger on Friday night, actually. Double Jaeger and uh, Mothers, or, or. No, not Mothers. I was drinking double Jaeger and Red Bulls, actually. Anyway. Uh, I think I think this is the last level now. I, I just like using the Megazord. I can't stand using the other 
with the other machine. Anyway. What do you consider stupid drinking partying laws? Or anything that affects jobs and tourism? Clubs are now forced to shut early and stop serving drinks early, which affects business, which affects tourism, which is uh, affects, uh, t you know, culture. And the thing is, we do have a lot of problems in Australia with binge drinking, but it's a social problem more than an alcohol problem. Like, the government just like, okay, we'll take away alcohol, people will stop binge drinking. It's, no. Prohibition didn't work in the 20s. That solution never works, you know what I mean? What you need to do is you need to, to sort out people's anger and social issues so when they do get in a hold of alcohol, they actually drink responsibly. And also, there's plenty of people that go out on the weekends that want to party and have a good time and they do it responsibly and they don't ruin the night for everyone else. Uh, why should they be punished uh, because of a few bad eggs that uh, just decide to act like fuckwits and use alcohol as an excuse, you know what I mean? So I think the government's just going about it all wrong. But, uh, you know, I don't go usually go political on stream, but because I'm from the nightclub industry, uh, this is something that I know a little bit about anyway, so... The, uh... And the problem is, if you cut out the alcohol, more and more kids are going to do illegal substances as well, which is another danger. You know, we, we need to be cleaning up the streets from that crap too. Oh, thank you, Honkus, I appreciate it. Oh, this is Power Rangers the Movie, Jeffrey, on Genesis. Uh, they, they end alcohol at 3 a.m., but you're not allowed to buy shots after 12. So in Brisbane, it's illegal to buy shots after 12. All alcohol is cut off at 3 a.m. Um, but that's only in the party districts. Uh, if you're in the city, you're allowed to party. If you're in the suburbs and you own a licensed venue, you have to close a lot earlier. And the biggest problem is, as, as well is also the licensing costs for all these venues and the fines and everything. Like, uh, no one can afford to, to open a night establishment these days. Like, it's a really hard industry and uh, business to get into. So, again, anything that affects our tourism in a negative way... Uh, it, it, it's something that I, I'm against, you know what I mean? Because we need to be getting as much money into our country as possible. And if, if we're not known as a country where people want to come and party because we're not nannered, then, you know, it's a, it's a very negative thing, I think. But that's, that's just my two cents on it. There's a lot of other people that are going to disagree with me as well. That's fine. Uh, just because uh, they're trying to cut down on binge drinking in Australia, Kevin. Yeah, they're, they're, we're, we're very nanned. Do you think you guys are nanned over in the US? You haven't seen anything. You're not allowed to blow your nose in Australia without a fucking license. <laughs> you think uh, Cedric says a one point only bar would be cool? I guess, you know, it probably would be. Damn it, that was the first life I lost too. This game ain't that hard. We're playing on normal mode and we're absolutely kicking ass today. Oh, there you go. He just flew away. The legs only 15 seconds today. Is that the final level or have we got one more? Let's see how we go. Big thank you once again to both YouTube and, and Facebook for watching as long as you have. I hope you've enjoyed the stream tonight. Alright, so we've got the end credits here, guys. I'm going to uh, play out the end credits. Uh, I'm going to fill my water bottle. And uh, I'll be back in uh, a minute. Literally a minute. And then we're going to start the next game, guys. If it's actually going to let me continue. Are we going to actually... Is it going to let me continue? Gosh, I just want to... Is, is it going to play the credits out so I can get a drink? Fucking hell. Alright, here we go.
There we go. You got these mischievous hooligans here in this one at least. You missed out on them in the last game. Steve, thank you, man. No, no worries, Steve. You have a great sleep. You got it. Steve, this one's going out to you. ba bora ba bora Thank you, my man. Have a great rest. Appreciate your support today, sir. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, we'll, we'll power this off. Uh, where's the power off button? Just trying to find the power button. Power off. Cool. Alright, so what did I say we're going to play next? We're going to try another Super Sentai game, right? So here we go, we're going to open this up, Sentai. Uh, okay, so uh, hopefully you can help me with this one, uh, Clifford, if you're still here. Because I, I struggle with the Megazord battles, but this is kind of like Power Rangers meets Mega Man. It's really cool. So I'm going to show you guys this very quickly. And uh, we'll do a few levels and then we'll move on to another game. Jetman, we're doing Jetman, exactly, Justin. So, I, I, the only thing I can't do, I really struggle uh, with the Megazord battles. So, alright, there we go. We're going to use, uh... Alright, we'll use the, the Black Ranger here. Why not? Alright, cool. Here we go. So, I love the music in this. The thing I love most about this game is the music is absolutely epic. It's total 8-bit goodness. No, I can't read... No, I can't read Japanese. I actually got the English patch for this, so I'm all organized. The music in this game is freaking wicked, hey. It is so good. Best chip tunes on some of the best chip tunes on NES. No worries, Captain BS. We'll see you again tomorrow, man. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, for all of you who can't sleep, guys, by the way, uh, after after I've done this stream, I'm gonna have a 45 minute break, and I'm gonna come back on with a late night stream, guys. I'm gonna do some House of the Dead Overkill for you guys. I haven't played that for a couple months. And uh, we're going to play through the whole campaign, guys, if you want to hang around and chill out. So that, that's going to be our next stream. We'll start that in probably about... Uh, well, I'll probably be here for about another hour. And then we'll take it from there. It's pretty pretty similar to Ninja Gaiden, right? It's a cool game. Uh, yeah, this is... They were pretty late titles. These, these were Japanese releases. I think this came out uh, in 1991, this game. Uh, this was this game was based after the 15th season, I think, of uh, Super Sentai over in Japan. Anyway, so yeah, you should definitely grab it. I can send you a copy of this if you want, Father Axe Keeper, because I've got um I've got the English patch, which will be pretty handy to have. I mean, you can probably read Japanese anyway, but <laughs> oh, thank you, Honkus. I think we're very, very lucky to have Commodore. I cannot do all this stuff on my own, so I'm lucky to have such a great team. All right, Clifford, I'm going to need your help. I don't know how to beat these bosses. Oh, I know how to beat this guy. I don't know how to win as a Megazord. Uh, I'm not going to do any Yakuza for a little while, Sam. I think, I think the Yakuza streams drag on a little bit. So when I do a really interesting part of the game, I'll stream it, but I'm not going to do a lot of Yakuza, Sam. I can't, I can't, I can't just do a Yakuza stream every night. I think people expect me to have a variety. But don't worry, that will not be the last you see of Yakuza. Sometimes, yeah. Anyway, alright, so let's see how we go here. I've just saved. So this is the Megazord battle. I don't know how to beat this sucker. If, any, if anyone's got any advice, uh, please let me know. Because I don't know what the fudge I'm doing. Hey, you going, Brian? Good to see you. Save here. Oh, how, how do you block? He's doing the chargey, chargey ones. Make a battle, A jump, B attack, down block. Oh, so down is block and start is special. Oh, how about that? There you go. Alright, cool. Thank you, man. You're a lifesaver. Alright, let's reload here. Alright, cool. Alright, we got this. Okay, so it kind of makes sense now, at least, anyway. Alright, oh, cool. Might, might take me a couple tries here, guys, but uh, we'll get it. Just trying to fill up my special meter if we can. We'll fill it up to the max. Oh, there we go. Almost got him. We're very close. Very close. 
but at least, at least I can cheat here. A shout out from the Pink Ranger would be perfect. I wish I, uh, I, w I hope to get her one day. That'd be damn it. Fuck you. Oh, have, oh, we got. Oh, come on. We're so close. Come on. Damn it. This is close. Come on. Damn it. I can't get. Fuck. Oh my gosh. We'll try it one more time. There we go. Wait for this to charge. There we go. One. One more. There we go. Boom! We got him! Alright, I'm kind of working it out now. Hey, going, Daniel? It's good to have you. Thanks for hanging out. This game is pretty neat. I'm surprised that... I'm surprised the Angry Video Game Nerd did not like this game. Area A is complete, guys. So, as I said, I'm not expecting to finish this game today, but I'm just happy to get through a few levels and show you what it's all about anyway. Who knows? If you like this game enough, maybe we can make it a regular. So we got the bird blaster. Yeah, we'll use Bimmy this time. Hey, this gun looks pretty neat. I like this gun. Alright, cool. This gun's better than the last gun we had. There you go. Take that, you sumbish. The rage is totally real today, isn't it? <laughs> oh man, I can't... Where's this game been all my life? I love this. Now that I actually know what I'm doing in those, uh... Megazord battles are actually not half bad. You want some Voltron tonight? I, I don't know, is there, there... There was one Voltron game, wasn't there? Did, did they bring out a Voltron game in Japan? I'm not sure. Oh, this is a Famicom game. Yep, this is just an English translation. You think so, JK Software? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely me, isn't it? <laughs> Is this a Capcom game? Oh, I don't know which company released this. Probably just a little-known Japanese company, I'm not sure. Clifford, do you know who uh, the publisher of this game was? It's actually a good question. But yeah, if you like games like Mega Man and Ninja Gaiden and, and all that, you're going to get a kick out of this. It's very playable. The controls are really neat. And you know, surprisingly for a Famicom game, this does not feel cheap. Like, it's, it's very pleasant in the controller. Uh, the character's very responsive. It doesn't... Yeah, it's not cheap. It's just... It, it seems like a solid experience. I don't, I don't, I don't know what ABGN's problem was. He loves this game opposed to Zoo Ranger. I think this is probably better. I think I probably prefer this over Zoo Ranger. Yeah, it, it kind of kind of looks like this kind of looks like a game you'd expect to see on Steam or something, doesn't it? Exactly. But yeah, once again, guys, we've been here for a good few hours. Just want to thank all my friends on both Facebook and YouTube for hanging out tonight once again. Appreciate all you guys. Thank you for being so loyal to the One Coin Only brand through all the good times, the bad times, and everything in the middle. Hopefully, there haven't been that many bad times. I don't think there has been. <laughs> How you going, Mr. Drew? We got Mr. Drew on YouTube. Good to see you, homie Slice. Ah, uh, Drew, I actually didn't get it, brother. I have to apologize, unless I'm forgetting about which pick you sent. Forgive me, Drew. I'm not, I'm not sure which pick you're talking about at the moment. I'm a little bit confused for a second. I'm a little bit flustered here. Wh which girl are you talking about? That bird symbol next to your life bar, pressing start, clears the screen with it. Oh, gotcha. All right, good to know. Oh, here we go. We got this one here. Bad times is not going to give you. Yeah, you know, I was just having my little political speech there, John. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's see how we go with this one. Okay, I'll check her out, brother. And there we go, we've got Mr. G, the retro runner over on YouTube. Good to see you, Bill. Gil. Bill Gill. Is your middle name Bill? I, I, I tell you what, for an NES game, this has some really neat cutscenes too. As, you, as you're noticing right here. Alright. So let's see how we go here. We're going to save here. Good to do the whole blocky ones. Hopefully this guy's not as much of a headache as this model form. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and charge up. And uh, do do some really big attacks. Probably better off for it. 
There you go, see him? I'm just gonna try and charge up Max out here. So he does it. Okay, so he's, he's pretty patternized. Alright, there we are. So we're a step ahead here, guys. We got this. So you just wait for him to do his two punches and then you, you, you counter. That's easy enough. We can do this. I think we got this son of a bitch. Uh, this is on uh, Famicom, Honkus, yeah. Japanese Nintendo, my friend. Family computer, my brother. Family computer. <laughs> Oh, there we go. He just cleaned his clock already. Alright, that's the second boss done. Boom! See you later. Amorai, you can get this... This was actually a gift. Uh, but you can get this uh, uh, bandana from Amazon for about $10, my friend. So you'll be able to, you can find these pretty easily. Gil, I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm pretty pumped to do this Power Rangers marathon. I've been having a really good time with it today. We got Perry back. Welcome back, Perry. I guess we'll go to Area C now. Yeah, I'm finding I'm finding a Kodak camera apparently. I guess we'll use White Swan this time, hey? Cause why not? Oh, thank you, Clifford. There you go. Cliff Clifford is educating me right now on Super Sentai lore, and I'm, I'm kind of uh, you know, I'd love to go back and watch the original from uh, 1975 and see what all the fuss is about. It sounds like a really cool show. Who who in here has actually watched Super Sentai before? Yeah, I mean, as long as I'll keep playing this game until we get stuck anyway, John. I'm really digging it. We, we might steer clear from Super Nintendo Power Rangers movie today. We might just go after this. We might just play uh, Power Rangers on the Game Gear. Because it's just a small game. And then we might leave it there. Yeah, I knew who you were, Sumbish. Now, no worries, Honkers. We'll see you shortly. And again, I just want to thank everyone for staying up as late as they have on a school night. I know it's getting really late. Um, especially to our East Coast peeps here. And by the way, everyone who's uh, watching from the UK are welcome. You're going to have to let me know what's for breakfast. I'm feeling really hungry. Alright. That being said... Oh... <laughs> I think tonight I might actually end up doing a, a, a morning stream instead of an afternoon stream, but we'll see how we go. I haven't decided yet. Which do I think is better, Ricky? Power Rangers or Mask Rider? I don't know anything about uh, Mask Rider, to be honest. What's this Mask Rider business? So Clifford said this game was developed by Natsumi and published by uh, a, cor a corporation involved with Bandai. Yeah. Natsumi, you know, I, I like, I always like the art style of Natsumi games. Natsumi ain't so bad. They're hit and miss, but some of their games are really good. Back in the day. So you work until 7am, so you're up anyway. Well, you're a good sport. And John says he could go for some corned beef hash and a side of pancakes. Yeah, man. I do have a waffle and pancake house fairly nearby, but I, I need to behave myself. I'm blowing out of this diet too much. So Gil says your son and yourself started streaming together. Oh, nice, man. Do you play game like co-op games? Like beat-em-up games? Or what kind of games are you playing together? I could get a hot dog up the road, but the Donut King that was selling hot dogs just closed down, Perry, so I can't get hot dogs anymore. It's a travesty. Not within Uber Eats range, anyway. Well, that's a spirit. Man, I love this cutscene. This is so freaking awesome. <laughs> there we go. This is cool. This is totally cool. Alright, so I'm going to save from here. So we're just going to learn the pattern. So he's just going to do two, two, two punches and retreat. One, two. I mean, these bosses are pretty easy once you learn the patterns, right? Pretty straightforward. One, two. And then retain. It's, it's just all counter attacking, really, isn't it? We got this guy by the balls. We're fine. One, two. And you just fully charge up your special and you just take advantage. Be easy. Fucking got him, mate. We got this. 
press F to pay. Re <laughs> I miss the Donut King. Mind you, Donut King is not a great business. The food there is overpriced and under quality. So many better donuts you can get from Australia, even in the supermarket. The supermarket donuts are better than the Donut King donuts, and they're a third of the price. So, uh, no wonder they're going out of business. They're closing down everywhere. Luther thinks I like the wieners. You can't prove this, my friend. Stop talking, you... 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 Oh! Well, look at you, you jumpy, jumpy guy. That was pretty tricky. It's all good. We'll get ya. Boom! Big eyeball on the fucking head, mate. There we go, another one. We got him. Is that really JK Software? JK Software just said that there's a service called Treat Stream where viewers can send food to streamers. Oh, dude, I want you guys to send me some food. That'd be nuts. Who's going to send me some food? Lauren, we don't have a Mr. Bean star screen yet. No. Uh, I am doing my new star screens. I always debut my new star screens, guys, uh, during uh, my episode. Hang on, I've got to write them down. Where are they, star screens? Mr. Bean. I always, always um, do my star screens. I always debut the new star screens during Beat It or Eat It. Just as an incentive for you guys, I guess. So, um, yeah, I'll have new star screens by tomorrow. Alright, so we've got Area Double D. How you going, Jessica? We've got Jessica on YouTube. Thank you very much for coming in. Alright, I guess we'll just use the Red Hawk. We haven't used the Red Hawk in a bit. A Tweaky Weenie Sam... What is, what is that? I don't even know what that is. So you can either have a gun and be like Mega Man, or you can have a sword and be like Ninja Gaiden. So you can pretty much play this game any way you want, which is freaking cool. This is 100% on our rotation now. I I'm loving this game. Drew, uh, kill, sorry. Oh shit, I just pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button, I was trying to pause. Gil, thank you so much. Mr. Mr. G, the retro runner on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to him. He's just sent a $2 super chat. Thank you very much for the support. This one's going out to you. Thank you, my homie. Yo. Keep firing, assholes. Uh, Lauren, I will do Bruce Lee eventually. That's actually a good idea. You just keep reminding me in the future. I think Bruce Lee, at least, is a very good idea. Thank you so much, G. That's totally uh, generous of you, my brother. It's a pleasure, by the way. I'm, I'm just, uh, yeah, my brain's just all over the place right now. It's all right, we'll get there. <laughs> you already get burger money and some for a sandwich. That is true. Christy Brinkley sandwich, my friend. If you've never had a Christy Brinkley sandwich before, I highly recommend it. There's a secret ingredient to the, the Christy Brinkley sandwich, by the way. Everyone's like, what the hell is this guy talking about? What's a Chicago dog? I've actually had a Chicago dog. Um, I can't remember the ingredients on it, but the Chicago dog was very good. Um, I went to a place in uh, Salem with Babom, and he got us some Chicago dogs. And uh, they actually, it's, they were authentic Chicago dogs. They actually got the ingredients from Chicago for, for the hot dog. And, uh, you know, it has like, you know, you know, the wiener, the relish, all that kind of stuff on it. And uh, a Chicago dog is very, very tasty, but I prefer my hot dogs with a, a bit of heat. So I prefer the Southern style ones. Yeah, and I was really good. I really, I did really enjoy the Chicago dog though. Oh, I see. Well, we'll, we'll try and use uh, Yellow Owl next time. I haven't used all the characters yet, Clifford. We'll, we'll give it a... <laughs> Chuck Norris, you think? Or the crow? I, I tried to do a Walker Texas Ranger thank you screen, but I couldn't find a good quality mo montage, but I'll work on it. There you go. Yeah, you know, that's what I love about the United States. You guys have got 50 states, and you've got a different cuisine for every single state that you live in. So you're always going to be trying something different. And, uh, you know, I love how every state in the United States has its own food culture. You'll never get bored with eating over there. 
Fred says he has Dodger dogs. What's a Dodger dog? Uh, yeah, Sam, you brought up the TJ Perkins. Thank you, screen already. I do like TJ Perkins. Keep in mind, I've got to be very, very careful with my WWE uh, thank you screens because don't don't forget, guys, they've started to block my streams. So I need to cut down a little bit on the WWE content for a bit. But uh, I'll, I'll get to TJP eventually. We'll get him. There you go. Every, every, everyone's like salivating at the, the Chicago Dog. Every, everyone on YouTube right now is very excited about the Chicago Dog. <laughs> That's true. I mean, I mean, you've got a different food culture in different parts of California, right? Because it's such a big place. In and Out Burger. Apparently, we're opening an In and Out Burger in Australia, but I, I I don't know much else about the fact that I just heard that it's rumored. But apparently, Australia is getting an In and Out Burger. I've never ever eaten there, but I heard the food is pretty good, at least as far as fast food goes. Anyway, so Area E. How many levels are left after this, Clifford? What happens after we finish Area E? Are we on the last level or something? So TJP went to AEW. I did not know that actually. That's cool. No, that's okay. Welcome back, Casual Coin. Good to see you. So the wing gauntlet thing. All right, so we're going to use what Clifford suggests. We're going to use the yellow owl this time. Sam says in and out is awesome. You only got it on the West Coast at the moment, right? I also heard that they were going to be opening a, an in and out burger in Chicago. I heard, I heard that rumor too. You know I'll enjoy in and out Yeah, I'll spend something like 20 bucks there on my first visit. <laughs> And Mr. Gill thinks that there's better burger places than In-N-Out. Yeah, I'm, sh I'm sure there is, without a doubt. But, you know, I, I mean, just straight fast food. I know those, like, mum and pop burger shops are better. But, uh, you know, just with straight fast food, what do you think the best straight fast food joint is? You know, so, like, McDonald's, Burger King, In-N-Out, Jack in the Box. If you had to pick one, uh, which one would you pick, I guess? Wendy's even, you know? Sam says you have five guys. Oh, yeah, uh, 8 Steve has been talking up five guys to me quite a bit, actually. Oh, Perry, have you had In-N-Out Burger, have you? Jeffrey says he likes five guys better. And Wolf and Joe, Joe says, oh, wait, what a buzzkill, bro. Wolven Film says that In-N-Out's not actually that special. <laughs> Damn it, I'm kind of being a little bit careless here. Gosh. Man, this game is a winner. I'm putting this one in the rotation. I love this. This game is freaking awesome. I'm excited. Are you actually like... I've never had White Castle. In, in the United States, I mean, I've had your version of Burger King. Um, I've had... Um, I've had McDonald's over there. Your McDonald's is a lot better than ours. you got a lot more options. Um, Wendy's, I really enjoyed w Wendy's. The Baconator is, 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 is for the win. The Baconator and the Frosty Fries, I did all that. Um, I, want, I went past the Denny's, but we never ended stopping in. And Fred, I have heard of Carl's Jr. I've never tried that either, though. It's a place called Fat Burger. And Jessica says Sonics is evil if you want the feeling of having a brick in your chest. Oh wow, that that you're gonna have a cardiac arrest after you eat a Sonics burger, hey? JK says it's all good. <laughs> nice one, Joe. I haven't had Wendy's. All right, well next time I go to Wendy's, I'll have the spicy chicken. I didn't even notice they had spicy chicken. I love spicy chicken. I'm a big spicy chicken guy. I have seen that burger. I saw I saw it on a blog. Or a blog, I should say. I have heard of this heart attack burger that you speak of. <laughs> there we go. See, it's just... These boss fights are just very, very linear, aren't they? I don't mind. At least the levels are somewhat challenging. And, uh... Stacy says I should go to Whataburger. Well, we might have to, we might have to do that, hey? This boss is the easiest one we've done so far. Yeah, keep punching him in the head. That's alright. 
I, 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 I guess the Power Rangers games had a long way to go. So, uh, mind you, there's not a whole lot of pow good Power Rangers games, to be honest, is there? I think the best Power Rangers game uh, ever released is probably the first one that we played. Um, there is a really, really good beat-em-up Power Rangers game on PS2, which I was going to do for you today. Uh, but while the gameplay is fun, uh, the game itself is a little bit uh, repetitive. So I kind of decided against uh, putting it on for you guys today. But I might put the PlayStation 2 version on another time. Let's see how we go. There we go, we got that sunbish. And Clifford says, this guy is a time mammoth. Well, we're going to take him straight back to time, see? Wow, that, that really didn't come out delivered very well, did it? <laughs> so like Rick was trying to be all clever and it just completely backfired. So Raising Cane's probably has the best fast chicken place. Great dipping sauce. What's your favorite dipping sauce, John? There we go. We're going to continue on here. So let's see what's happening now. And Mr. G says I need to go to Gil's McBurgers. Oh, here you go, guys. Looks like we're going to finish this sunbish, eh? Quick game's a good game. I think we'll use the Yellow Ranger again. Alright, I'm excited. Final level, guys. We're gonna beat this... We're gonna beat this prick of a game today. I tell you, this is... This, this game kind of reminds me of Trojan, in the sense that it's very, very short. And it's a nice go-to game to do as a bonus, because it's under a half an hour long. I think by the time we beat this game, we won't have even been playing this for 30 minutes. So it's it's definitely a if you if you if you're a streamer and you're looking for a bonus game, this is a nice uh, short game to put in your lineup. If we ever meet, I'm having KFC, Sonics, or Popeyes. How about all three, my friend? There we go, we got him. <laughs> and May says I should try Popeye spicy and use the sweet heat. I like the sweet heat. I like the sweet uh, chili sauces. They're good. Sounds good to me. Mr. G says homemade burgers are always the best. Well, as I said, the homemade burger shops are making a big resurgence in Australia, so a lot of people are going to all those craft burger places now. But just like everywhere, you've got the good ones and then you've got the not-so-good ones. Oh, gosh. What else is happening anyway, guys? You got any other news for me today? I can't wait to have a meal, actually. I'm feeling really, really hungry now. I really, really need a burger, but I've got to behave. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have all the burgers I can eat when I'm away, so for the next three weeks, it, I've got to behave. I'm just going to keep justifying that to myself. How do I get out of here? Oh, I can go this way? Look, this is a... It looks really stupid. Look, that's a big pipe, and we're walking right through it. That makes no freaking sense. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Three meals a day, all three places, May says. Yeah, that's a that's a great idea. I'm down with that. And Mr. G said he was with his family on Mother's Day. I hope your mum had a lovely day. Or your missus, or... I hope all the mums of the world had a great day. You know, we, should, we should be pretty close to the end here. We're lucky enough to get some help back in the special, and... Next next time I play this, I might have to play on the normal mode. We are playing on easy, so I mean it makes a nice casual experience at least anyway. Alright, we made it. So I think I think this is the final boss coming up over here. So who do we take on last dude? Oh, we got him. Yeah, there's a mother. Yeah, we we do Mother's Day over here as well. We obviously did it yesterday because we're a day ahead. Alright, cool guys, how exciting. Daniel says a quarter pounder with an egg patty all day. So, Daniel, in Australia, we do what's called a breakfast burger. And it's actually a breakfast quarter pounder. So we do a breakfast quarter pounder over here. It's got the meat, it's got the cheese, it's got the egg, it's got the bacon, and it's got the hash brown on it. So we actually do do a, a breakfast quarter pounder over here. And it, it's one of my favorite McDonald's burgers. When they make it fresh, tastes crap when it's dry, and you guys know how often you get dry food at McDonald's, but when it's fresh, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, no worries, Jessica, it's good to have you. I hope we have you uh, a lot more often here, my friend. 
We're all just about playing cool games and having a good time. Yeah, my favourite Whopper is the Angry Whopper. You know, the spicy Whopper with the jalapenos and the angry onions and stuff. My other favourite burger at, at, at Burger King, I think they only do it some Burger Kings. They don't do it here in Australia, but it's um, a, a double beef cheese and mushroom burger. That's pretty nice too, but I don't know how many of you guys do it. Yeah, man. We, we know how to make a good breakfast burger over here. Have you had the, have you had the the barbecue breakfast burger yet, Perry? At McDonald's, it's pretty good. And Father Axekeeper says they have eggs on the burgers at, at Japan too. If I want to eat Japanese burgers, I, I like Moss Burger. Do you, have you ever eaten Moss Burger? I think I've asked you before, Father Axekeeper. Moss Burger sells like these Wagyu beef um, burgers on like a, a rice cake patty, and they're just so good. They're really really good. You guys are making me really freaking hungry right now. I can't handle this. Come on, just a couple more shots, guys. Just one more shot. We can do this. This is the last boss, I think. We've almost... Oh, no. Damn it, motherfucker! Now I have to do it again. Sorry. <laughs> this is gonna blocky blocky. Sam says... Which state are you from again, Sam? Well, damn, Daniel, that's a pretty generous gift, eh? Hey? This is gonna blocky blocky here. I'm really hungry now, too, Barry. Boom! There we go. Take that, you jerk off. There was a black waffle. What's that one? Oh wow, that sounds interesting. Doesn't really sound that appetizing, though. I'm just, I'm just taking my time. I'm trying to finish him off with one more hit. No need to rush it. Boom! Damn it, we got him, we just won, we're champion, we're now champion of the universe, guys. Boom! There you go, Super Sentai on NES, my friends. I don't know what was wrong with the Angry Video Game Nerd, this game is freaking awesome. I would 100% play this any day of the week, this is really freaking awesome. What a hidden gem. So this game is called Sojin Sentai Jetman, and uh, it's a Famicom release, and I am playing the English translation, which I was lucky to find uh, on Google. Happy to send you this game if you want to play it as well. What a freaking game, that was excellent. Alright guys, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play our bonus game now, which is going to be Power Rangers on the Game Gear. Now apparently this game ain't too long, so uh... Where is it? Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on the Game Gear. I'm going to put it on easy mode too. I'm going to keep it pretty cruisy and we're just going to walk through it. So uh, if you want to hang around, guys, really appreciate ya. Power Rangers on the Game Gear, everyone. And John rates that game five zords out of five. That was definitely my favorite game out of every game we played today. Like, uh... Uh, I, I really like Power Rangers on the Super Nintendo, but I think I now have a new favorite uh, Power Rangers style game. So I really, uh, really dug that. That was fun. Thank you for helping, by the way, too, Cliff. So the only thing annoying about this game is, it, is the music. But uh, let me know if I've got enough volume for you. I'm just trying to give you some more. Uh... Right, here we go. So let's see how we go with this one. So this is going to be our last game before our next stream. And uh, we're going to play on easy. Just uh, one. No, we'll just do one match point. We'll just, we'll just get through this as quick as we can. Do a story game. Now you don't get much more old school than this, right? You really? I'm going to have to watch that soon, Jeremy. You're teasing me. Yeah, this comes automatically with the emulator. I think it's a nice touch too, Father Axe Keeper. Night, John. Thank you so much for hanging out, brother. Power Rangers Light Speed Rescue. I do have that floating around. Uh, I'm just going to run out of time because I'm going to have a quick lunch after this game, Sam, and then I'm actually going to come back on. All right, go, go, Game Gear Rangers. <laughs> this is actually a really fun. Like, it's a very basic game, but it's really fun. So hopefully you get a kick out of it. Now, is the stream loud enough, guys? Have you got enough volume? Do you need more volume? Please let me know. I have a feeling I might need to give you some more volume here. Seems to be a very quiet game, this one, for whatever reason. Hopefully that's comfortable now. 
The, the bosses are pretty easy to cheese here. If Perry's gonna get a hot dog, you got it, sir. <laughs> Alright. Oh, no, he's... Yeah, I'm using Zaka. There you go, Jess. I'm using Zack Attack again, indeed. <laughs> so you just do this for a little bit, then you do boss battles and stuff. You see? The game doesn't mess about. It gets to the point pretty quickly. I've taken on Goldar already. The game's a lot more fun than what it probably looks, being as old as what it is. Alright, no worries, Mr. G. Thank you for the support, man. Hopefully we'll see you uh, again tomorrow, my friend. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, well, I've, yeah, I've never tried the uh, the Game Gear version. I think you were telling me that before. You guys need a little bit more volume? We can make that happen, sure. And so don't forget, guys, if you're not going to bed anytime soon, uh, I will be back on. Uh, what time am I going to come back on? Probably in about an hour from now. Oh, wait, you can do special moves in this. I forgot. You can do, like, reuse Hadouken, and you can shoot and do all sorts of other moves. So we can just cheese him in the corner here, which is pretty handy. Oh, crap. <laughs> Alright, Daniel, you have a good sleep, man. Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate ya. Yeah, I, I, ch I chucked on I chucked on uh, Power Rangers for the Game Gear, and everyone's like, Yeah, okay, that's my cue to go. Well, fucking sorry about it. Before everyone leaves, please don't forget to, uh, um, what was I going to say? Please don't forget to like the video, guys. As much as I really, really appreciate star donations, uh, likes help us more than anything on the page, guys. More likes equal more reach means free exposure. You can't put a price on that. So, if you haven't put a like on the Facebook or the YouTube video, please do once more time. Payron says, get good. I'm killing this. What are you talking about? <laughs> I think they've done a really amazing job in this to do cutscenes in the Game Gear version. They look pretty good. There we go. This is this this is Game Gear. This is freaking sweet. Well, there we go. It looks like we've got a, a Megazord battle here. It looks very very similar, uh, almost to the the Super Nintendo version. Super Nintendo version. It actually reminds me of the, the movie version we played on Genesis, actually. This is, yeah, this is a Game Gear version today. I'm go, just going to take on this Megazord over here for a bit. I hope the music's not too annoying. What do you think? That was the one, that was the one downside about the Sega uh, Master System in Game Gear. They had really, really good graphics. The music was always very questionable. Yeah, nice colour scheme on this too, you're not wrong, hey? You never had a Game Gear? I was fortunate enough to own a Game Gear a little bit later in life. I wish I kept it. I, I had a Master System converter for my Game Gear too, so I could take my uh, Master System games on the go as well. That was really cool. That was one of my favourite toys back in the day. Is there actually... We need a Volt... D-Wayne says we need a Voltron versus uh, Power Rangers comic. It's not a half bad idea actually, sir. So how many of you guys are staying up, and how many of you guys are going to bed? Would you guys prefer to see me come on again now, or would you prefer me to come on in the morning? It's, I'll, I'll leave it up to you. But I'll definitely be doing another stream today anyway. Yeah, so you missed it. yeah, he was pretty upset that you missed it for you, like, because he knew how much you wanted to see it. No, that's okay, Sam. I mean, we've got the full long play there for you anyway, and, uh... It won't be the last time we play that game, my man, so we'll be doing it again. Father Axe Keeper's gonna be up late. Oh, damn, Peyron. It's a bit, bit, bit out of left field. <laughs> I don't know if there's any more special moves in that one, but I'll try it out. I don't know if he does, like, a Shoyukin or something as well. Damn it, man. I think some of these battles take a, uh, a little... Damn it, okay, he's killing me now. There we go, finally finished him. Jessica said she's gonna be up. Uh, maybe I can do both. We'll see how we go. I do have a lot of things to do on one point only tonight, but I'm sure I can fit them all in somehow. 
Oh, thank you, Cora. Right, cool, Clifford. Try hitting both buttons at the same time for the special. Am I? I didn't even realize I was charging up a special. So who are we going to use this time? We'll use uh, Bimmy this time. There we go. So level 2-1, guys. Now, do you remember how many levels are in this game, by the way, Clifford? A nasty knight, hey? We're going to take this nasty knight to school, apparently. Okay, he's got, a, he's got a pretty cool special weapon. I'm mainly sticking to the base story uh, at the moment, Father Axe Keeper. I'm not going to be doing a lot more Yakuza streams. Uh, I'll, when I get to the really good bits, like the ending and stuff, I'll stream it. But otherwise, it's just going to take up too much time, you know what I mean? I was a little bit concerned because I streamed Yakuza last night, and certain bits of the game have a... Because if, if you haven't played Yakuza before... Uh, you, you're taking a chance because some bits really, really drag on. And, and last night's stream took a while to get heated up. But, um... Yeah, I'll, I'll be doing more Yakuza, but not every single stream, you know what I mean? Just just when I know I'm up to a good bit or something. Big trouble in Little Tokyo, you think? There we go, I'm gonna take care of the putty patrol here. Well, what is with this putty patrol anyway, seriously? <laughs> Oh, thank you, Sam. Yeah, just one more reminder. We have a brand new show coming soon uh, called uh, Mystery Flight. We're going to probably start that in June. So what's going to happen is I'm going to pack my suitcase, pack my backpack. I'm going to be all ready for a flight. And then what we're going to do is stream. And then depending on your star donations... Uh, so let's just say I make $150 in star donations at stream. You guys can choose whether I take a flight with what I can afford, or whether I bank it up for the next episode. And then, when you guys vote for me to cash out and take a mystery flight, uh, I give you guys four options uh, to vote for. And then, uh, the, the option that you vote for, whichever one wins, is a mystery. And then all of a sudden I will turn up at a random place in either the country or the world, uh, doing a vlog, doing a stream, uh, to a place that you guys sent me in the show. It's hard to explain, but uh, I'll be doing a big uh, preview video for you guys uh, in the not too distant future. And I just wanted to do something really, really fun and ambitious for you guys. And, uh, you know, just something that's not been done in the streaming community before. So I'm always coming up with new ideas. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work out. You think I should go to Japan, Sam? Well, that's up to you guys. Yeah, I used to play with slime and putty and things like that. We call it Play-Doh over here. We, we used to call the, the putty over here Play-Doh. And uh, they actually used to teach you how to make your own uh, homemade putty as well. Yeah, no, see, I mean, I'm, you know, yeah. I'll be, most of the expenses will come out of my pocket, like, so I only need to get a little bit from the, the community on this show. Most of it will come out of my pocket, but, uh, you know, you as I said, you guys can decide whether I take the flight that day or bank it up for the next episode, and uh, it'll be once a month. I mean, once I once one coin only is making more money, we'll do it once a week and make it something really special. Uh, but we're going to debut it as a once a month show uh, to start with, and we'll take it from there. Oh, Putty's a little bit different to, to Play-Doh? Okay, I've got... Well, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I'm confused. Alright, bless you too, Fred. We'll see you again tomorrow, man. Thank you so much for hanging out. I know people are going to send me to Ayers Rock in the Outback. I'm totally expecting it, Luther. So, if that's the kind of holiday you want me to... Have, well, not holiday, because... The only catch is, to keep it inexpensive, uh, I'm only going to be away for two days. So, I'll probably do the show on, like, Monday and come back Wednesday or Thursday, you know what I mean? And then just do the streaming from the random, you know. I've still got to work out the logistics, but we're definitely going to be doing it. I've been doing a lot of brainstorming into how to make it work. It comes packaged with a... Oh, does it doesn't really? It's a pretty cool game, like, it's pretty basic fish, but, like, I, I don't know if the game, by watching it, is doing it justice, but this just seems just like a little fun time killer. Tommy, from this moment on, you are my ranger. 
The evil green ranger. Oh, no, not the evil green ranger. We can't... I haven't got the new laptop yet, mate. Uh, I'm holding off on getting the new laptop uh, because I need to pay for the American trips first. Once I've paid for the American trips, then I'll get the laptop. But uh, it's... I've got to have a meeting, actually, after... I forgot, I've got to have a meeting with 8-Bit Steve and, and work out what we're doing uh, as soon as the stream is finished, so... I've actually got to finish in the next 10 minutes. Anyway, sorry, I'm just rambling on here. Don't mind me. Oh, thank you, Father Axe Keeper. And, and D-Wayne thinks I should do a stream from the North Pole. Game, game, game gear, Rangers. <laughs> hey, Trini's actually got some pretty good moves. I like her. I think she's my favorite now. May, 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 may the poor deer rest in peace. Boom. Let's see what a special move is. Oh, she does this big flying uppercut. Well, she's a ninja. And the special move's not working. Why is, why is the sumbish move not working? There we go. Right. Okay, so she can throw... Alright, let's see if we can use our special here. Boom! Look at that! Look, she thinks she's Brock Lesnar. Did you see that? She's doing suplexes and shit. Boom! Look at that! Does, does, I have a feeling this game is going to get a little bit monotonous after a while, but, you know. Oh, look, the Green Ranger. Shit. <laughs> Boom! Come on, come on, you green sumbish. I do like the boss music, it's pretty neat. Oh no. Boom! Get over here, you green sumbish. Well, all the fights are very epic anyway. Do a few car we'll try and try and trap him in the corner with a few cartwheel kicks here. We should be out of there. We go. We've got to step up. Boom! What an epic battle! Boom! Take my side. Sorry, I'm getting a bit carried away here. <laughs> well, there you go, D Wayne. D, D Wayne, you're gonna start turning into me if you use that kind of. Can't you start using that kind of language? It's like it's like I'm turning you to the dark side, bro. <laughs> How about some goats before you go? You got it. Thank you very, very much for the support, Alex. Alex with the 50 stars. Alex, this one's going out to you. Thank you, Homer Slice. There we go. So we're doing a Megazord battle again. Alex, we'll see you again tomorrow. You have a great rest. Thank you for always supporting me, dude. How you going, Marco? Good to have you. You have a good night too, Marco. Thank you for coming in and saying hello, dude. I'm uh, just going to do one more shout out here quickly, guys, because we have a notification here, apparently. And we got a notification from Craig. Now, I've got to do a massive shout out to my friend Craig. Craig has now been a supporter for a full five months. Craig, thank you very, very much for uh, renewing your subscription and believing in us for so long, man. I really appreciate you. And again, if you want to learn a bit more about subscriptions there, guys, I'm just going to send you a little notification there. Thank you, Craig. So I'm going to have to take off in a sec. I'm, so, I'm, going to, I'm going to see where the end of this level takes me, but I'm really, really hungry. And when I get hungry, I get hangry. And uh, I'm not... Yeah, anyway. I think once you've seen one level in this, you've seen it all. So we might finish off at this battle. Then I'll have my meeting with Steve, and I'll come back on in 45 minutes for you guys. That's, that's uh, the plan of attack anyway. This is our little bonus game anyway. Maybe I'll finish this one day. I don't know why, it always gets me every time too. <laughs> oh look, the Green Ranger's back. And Tommy just can't get enough of me today. Oh, you think? Ah, oh, damn it. I'm pretty sure... This, this is so unrealistic. Have you guys noticed what the problem is here? I'm pretty sure that Tommy is not as tall as the Megazord. Look at this. Tommy is like... Tommy is about 50 foot tall and taken on a Megazord. Ah. Uh, <laughs> no. Anyway. 
I do get a little bit hangry, yes. I'm feeling incredibly hangry right now. I, I feel my energy levels right now declining a little bit. Uh, yeah, when, when, if I ever end up in Japan, I'll 100% be going to a, a wrestling show for sure. You, you better believe it, my friend. So is that that level done? Alright, so that level is clear. Let's, let's look at the next cutscene and then I might call it a day on this stream before the next one. Green Ranger, take your Zord and crush the Power Rangers. Yeah, it, se it seems to be pretty run-of-the-mill fun but monotonous and repetitive after more than 10 minutes. This is kind of like a 10, 15 minute uh, time killer game, I think. But, uh, all right, guys. I'm going to have a quick lunch break, and then I'm going to come back on with a late night stream. So I'm going to go to the full screen mode here, guys. And, uh, oh, here we go. we got three hours, guys. We did a whole bunch of uh, new Power Rangers games. We've got that new Sentai Jetman game, which is now permanently on our... Uh, Rotation, Absolutely loved it. So I think we achieved a lot today. But uh, thank you for everything, guys. Your likes, your shares, your star donations. And as cheesy as what it is, guys, thank you the most uh, for all your time. The most valuable thing in life is time. You guys give me hours of it every single day. So uh, I do not take it for granted. I'm really, really grateful. Thank you so much for just watching what we do at the One Coin Only brand. And uh, we hope to have a lot more exciting shows for you come up. Uh, later in the year. We hope you enjoy Beat It or Eat It tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to eat a dog food sandwich live. But we'll see how we go. And um, I'm going to have a quick bite to eat. I'm going to have this meeting with 8-Bit Steve. And then if you're still awake, guys, I'm going to be awake uh, to do another late night stream for you guys. So we'll be back in about 45 minutes time. To everyone going to bed, you have a great sleep. We'll see you tomorrow. Everyone else will be back shortly. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you in the next stream. But before we go, we've got a big shout out to my girl Stacy. And uh, she'll take care of all your graphical needs. Don't forget guys, if you need a thumbnail or you need a, a t-shirt design or anything in between, Stacy will look after you. Just mention one coin only or some bish and she'll give you a really cool discount. So, cheer guys, we'll see you in the next one.